Yeah, rock on, brother! for the sub and Jack for the sub pre-stream. W haircut? It's not a haircut. I just started styling my hair different. Nah, I gotta change it. I gotta change it. I just gotta go to the chorus. I gotta go to the course. That's the only thing that fucking matters. Yo, do you all actually fuck with the haircut, though? Your haircut's like a clap today? Yo, we're full for the 10,000 biddies. You're saying my shit looks clap? Bro, I was saying that it looks better. Like, cause now, bro, you think it looks worse? You think it looks, wor it's too short? It's not even, bro, it's the same haircut I had yesterday. It's just styled differently. It's not spiked as much. It's like the same fucking thing. We're full for the 10,000 biddies, though, bro. Oh, my God. Maximus and Melvin for the sub. Tastos for the forge of biddies. Says, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? We're about to do a poll when this shit... When, when the noti goes out, I'm doing a poll on whether or not they like the haircut. Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Somebody said, somebody said, are you smoking weed soon? Tomorrow, yeah. I'm not 21. Tomorrow, I'll be 21. In, in fucking 10 hours, I'll be 21. My way to you. I hold out for one more drink before I think. Smoke weed every day? Yeah, that's a pass, buddy. Yeah, not doing that. Right? Yeah, I might hit a dab card on stream every once in a while. Right? But I'm not going to be smoking weed every single day on stream. That, tr that shit would be fucking drastic. Yeah, no. Gotta go back to the chorus. That's the only thing that's good about this song. Do weed Wednesdays? Dude, I'm not smoking weed in the middle of the week. Like, Monday? Like, tomorrow is gonna be the only day where I smoke weed on a Monday. <laughs> Ani for the sub, CJ for the sub, Melvin for the fucking sub. Yo, where the fuck is the Nodi? Is Nodi out? I can't tell. Are you actually going to be doing weed? Well, yeah, it's legal in New Jersey if you're 21, so yes. Mr. N. Dakota, for, I'll, I'll have a few drinks too on Monday. Uh, Mr. N. Dakota for the 420 bets. Uh, just wanted to wish you an early happy birthday because I won't be able to make stream tomorrow. Also, keep up the good work. Uh, and then they put Joe Bar Business. Big dub. And bro, we're full? Thank you for the 10,000 biddies again, bro. Sniper for the 300 bits says totally radical. I know. I know. Bro, we got a shitload of reactions too today. I'm hype. And tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're doing reactions, gaming, ooh, ooh, foo, foo quizzes, a bunch of shit. Yo, where the fuck is the Nodi? Is that the Nodi? Because, yep, there it is. Oh my fucking God. I was wondering where it was. Today it took a while. Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this uh, fantastic fucking Sunday? Will tomorrow be your very first time smoking weed? No. Uh, face for the sub. I've smoked it in Jamaica before. Mr. <laughs> Mother Wolf for the thousand bitty sniper for the 300 bets. And that's it. That's it. I've never smoked weed outside of Jamaica. My chat likes to beg. Di Wait. My chat likes to say otherwise. However, I plead the fifth on those cases. Uh, Dairy for the three hundred bits. Cruz Burger for the sub. That's facts. Cruz Burger, thank you for the fucking sub. How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Monday? It's not Monday. I was just talking about Monday. It's Sunday. Fuck. How is everybody doing 
on this fantastic fucking Sunday. It's a React Day to Day chat. Dub in the chat for that. Swag for the sub DFW for the fucking uh, 550 bets. Love the streams. You made my day better. Thank you for making my day. Or, or thank you for making me happy every day when I have nothing to do. Dub. No. No. Pete. Bro. Pete cluffed for the fucking hundred gifteds. Oh my god. I'm not saying your name right. Pete underscore cluffed? Bro. I've been live for six minutes. I'm already at what well, it hasn't updated yet. I'm already at the fucking sub goal now. What the fuck? A hundred gifted subs? Holy shit. Hundred people just got a free sub. If you're one of those fucking people, thank Pete underscore cluffed. I'm not saying your name right, no doubt. Holy shit. Thank you for the hundred gifted. What the fuck? Bro, I don't know the last time I got a hundred gifted subs. I mean, like, I'll get a hundred gifted subs cumulative. Hundred gifted flat? Bro. Pete Cluffed, what the fuck? That is so many damn subs. What's up? Thank you for the fucking 100 gifted. Jovany for the 300 bits. You look different. Did you get a haircut? Mother Wolf for the 1,000 bitties. See, now, now that you addressed it, we have to do the poll here. Do y'all fuck with the new hairstyle? It's not a new haircut. It's the same haircut that I had yesterday. I'm just styling it differently. Yes, which... Yes, meaning you like it. No, meaning you don't like it. It looks the same. Bro, it's, it's basically the same, except this side is not fully going this way. I have it going back and forward. I like it more. It looks like shit. Yeah, you probably have the Edgar cut, dickhead. Fuck you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, it looks shit. It looks fucking terrible. You look bummy as fuck. I didn't give a fuck, buddy. I rolled out of bed, too, and it was already like this, so I don't give a shit. Pete, again, thank you for the 100 gifted fucking subs. I gotta scroll back up. I see 100 fucking gifteds on my fucking mini feed. God damn, Mr. N Dakota for the sub. Can we for the 300 bits? Gifts are cool, but I have I have you three whole dollars pre-tax. Dub, that is facts. Glad for the 1,000 biddies. Hey, Joe, I went to go see the new Avatar movie yesterday. It was so fire, the ending made me cry. SL for the five. You should do a little late night to drink tonight. Bro, you think I should go live at midnight to have a drink? No. I'm not. No. <laughs> no, it's over for that. Slide for the 300 bits. I'll do on, on Monday. I'm going live and I'll have a few drinks and, and, and like uh, smoke some weed. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to be going live at fucking midnight. Especially since you guys like will have class tomorrow. Like you're not going to be able to watch me. The majority of you guys. Slide for the 300 bits. First time giving bets. Want to thank you for making my day all the time. Dub, Lope for the 300 bets. Discord doesn't let me DM you, so I at you in the mod chat. Ard. Uh, I'm probably going to do it tomorrow because I think it would be fun to do it tomorrow. Donnie for the sub. Uh, Anonymous for the fucking five gifteds. Whoever the fuck gave me those subs, thank you for the five gifteds. Uh, Xerxes for the thousand biddies. I'm 19. I got a miracle, medical marijuana card. Dub. Anna for the 300 bets. Uh, Joshi for the sub. Mr. N Dakota for the 510 bits. Who is the GOAT? Jordan or LeBron? Don't watch basketball and I don't really care. Uh, cat almost scratched my eyeball last night. Missed it by four millimeters. Now I have an awesome scratch. Yikes. Happy early birthday. Thank you. No, but chat, be real. Do y'all fuck with the haircut? No? Why? What's wrong with it? Juge for the sub. More people said yes than no. Okay, which is better? Which is better? I feel like y'all are just going to say old cut because you're used to it. Which is better, old cut? Now. Old cut meaning what I had literally yesterday. <laughs> Chicken for the 300 bits. Garlic for the 300 bits. Do you remember me? Also, a few months ago, I was banned from your Discord. Want to know why? Hit up my mods on that. I'm not a part of my Discord. I don't even know who you are, so I don't know why you were banned. Um, but yeah. Bro, y'all really fuck with the old cut more? Why? Why? Like, bro, nah, now y'all are pressing me. Now y'all are actually pressing me. It's the bro, same nah, thing. Now y'all are pressing me. Hold up. Now, Hold up. Hold up. This is literally my live today. I gotta go to yesterday. 
It's the same thing. Bro. Bro. You look like Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron's hair is up here. Fuck off. I don't look like Jimmy Neutron. Bro. Old looks so much better. Bro, the only difference is that I didn't... I Instead of this going this way, it's going that way. That is the only difference. Bro. Like, if I went like that, then it somehow goes back. I would have to redo it, but that's just because I rolled out of bed. Anyways. Bro, fuck out of here. You look exactly the same. Bro, genuinely, yeah. The new cut's better. Thank you. Colby for the sub, Mr. Ed to cut up for the three bets. Ryan for the three bets. When you get VR, can you play five nets and Freddy's? I don't know. Pete for the 50. Holy shit. Another early birthday gift. Bro, thank you for the $50 dono. Dub in the chat for Pete, bro. Thank you for the 100 gifteds and the $50 dono. I appreciate the pre-birthday gift. Thank you for the 50, dude. That is nuts. Dandy for the fivers bets. All right, we got to get into reactions tonight, chat. Probably won't get on stream, so happy birthday, bro. Drink one for me. Dub. Dandy for the fivers bets. Goblin for the fringe bets. Sorry I missed a few streams here. Good. Check it for the fringe bets. And, bro, Pete, thank you for the 50, man. Oh, my God. Ryan for the fringe bets. Uh, I am for the, th uh, the thousand bets. Colby for the sub. And Chloe for the fivers bets. Won't be in stream tomorrow. It's my mom's birthday. Uh, happy birthday to your mom. Want to wish you a uh, happy early birthday. Thank you. Uh, is for the sub. All right. But chat, do y'all like, would y'all be pressed if I had this haircut now? Because I fuck with it more. Then we'll get into the reactions. Last question about the haircut. We got a bunch of reactions today. Look for the fringe bets. It's the little lift of the hair at the end that puts me off. What, right here? Bro. Why? You look like Peter Pan. I don't look like Peter Pan. Kobe for the sub, Molt for the sub. Bro, y'all are... Bro, Peter Pan. Peter Pan's a fucking pussy. I would beat the shit out of Peter Pan. Peter Pan, bro. This is I, His haircut's going down. Yo, does this look like me? My haircut looks more like Moist Critical's old haircut. Then now. Bro. It doesn't. Bro, it doesn't look like Peter Pan. Bro, I look up Moist Critical <laughs> haircut and it doesn't show up. Moist Critical... This. There it is. Like, that's what I would rock. Y'all don't fuck with that? Bro, the fucking faux hawk. Bro, that shit's dope. Cruise Burger for the five gifteds. Yo, thank you, Cruise Burger, for the five gifteds, brother. Um, Don't know if I shouted that one out yet. Yo, Cruise. Cruise Burger. Thank you for the five gifteds, man. I appreciate the, gift the gifted subs. Yo, Cruise Burger for the... Yo, if nobody remembers that... I accidentally shouted out Cruz Burger sub yesterday six times. Like, and then I just started doing it purposefully. Arse for the sub, uh, Void for the sub, Top for the sub. Bro, thank you for the five gifteds, though. Colby for the two gifteds. Lucky for the three hundred bets. Yo, Cruz for the sub. Yo, Cruz Burger. Thank you for the sub, bro. Thank you for the subs, man. I appreciate it. Now, but chat, do y'all really think it like, do y'all think it's bad? Rate the cut. Out of 10. Rate the cut. Out of 10. Out of 10. It's not styled that well, right? Like, I could fucking change it up a bit. Seven. All right, what was the other one? What was the old cut? Bro, like, the last one was better. Yo, you're British, so I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> Yo, wait, hold up. Hold up. This verbus. <laughs> That's gotta be racist, bro. No, it's not. This is verbus. This is verbus. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta stop. 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 All right. 
Bro, I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. I'm going to rock this one today, though, and we're going to see how it feels. Okay? You stole my for the fucking 300 bets. Not to be a downer, my granddad passed, and then I found my boyfriend cheating on me in the same 12 hours. Damn. Rip in the chat for your granddad. I'm sorry that they passed, and I'm sorry that your boyfriend cheated on you. Your streams have helped me a lot, and I'm, I'm about to get blazed while watching you. Haha. Ha. Uh, much uh, love, Leah. Bro. I'm sorry that your granddad passed, and I'm sorry that your boyfriend cheated on you. Fuck your dumb ass ex. L in the chat for them. And I'm sorry that your granddad passed. Uh, it, it will get better over time, but I'm sorry both of those things happened around the same time. That really does suck. Colby for the sub and Jovany for the three bets. And it's not a Debbie Downer thing. You're allowed to you're allowed to mention that in my chat just because it like ruins the vibe. It doesn't ruin the vibe. You're allowed to you're allowed to say that. Uh, when you get VR, play Bone Lab. It's number one on Seller Quest. Okay, Wub, Wub to Lozy for the sub. I really do need to order VR soon. Lucky for the thousand biddies. Have you seen the Poo Keepsies tapes? Nope. Uh, I don't even know what that is. You can send it in the video suggestion tab on Discord. We're full for the 500 bets. Your new haircut looks like you eat crayons and burgers from your nose with a side of curly fries with mayonnaise. Bro. I have, I have fucking, yo. Who's the motherfucker from Bullet Train? And Fury. And every other war movie. Who's that dude? Who's that dickhead? Brad Pitt. Bro, bat, I have Brad Pitt's old haircut now. Not not the the wavy one, but he had my yo, he had like I want to get it to this point. No, like right, like would it be yo, would y'all fuck with it when it's this long? See now that's fire. But that's got to that's got to grow out. I got to grow it out. If it was, like, longer and, like, fluffier, then it would be dope, right? But I still think it's fine like this. Or, um... Yeah, it's like Chad. No, nah, it's more like Chad Michael Murray. It's more like it's more like this. Uh, his is fucking ugly, though. Yo, his haircut's worse than mine. This is fugly. Like, do y'all think this looks good, chat? Which one's better? Which one's better? My haircut's better than his. That's so ugly. That looks like he rolled out of bed. That looks like he rolled out of bed. Mine looks better than that. That looks ugly as fuck. His looks better. No, it no, it does not. No, it does not. You uh, like I know this is a subjective uh, answer, but your answer is shitty. Right? <laughs> Garlic for the three hundred bets. How do you think you would look with a mullet? Terrible. I don't have curly hair. Tali and Repo for the sub res for the five hundred bets. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, when will you be going live tomorrow? 4.30 EST. Steal for the sub park for the 300 bets. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All right. Let's get into the reactions. We're not reacting to a Darman video today. Okay? This is the first time on a Sunday that we're not reacting to a Darman video. The reason being is because we have a lot of videos to get through, right? We're starting off with a Jubilee video. Who's the, big the biggest Disney fan? My thoughts on gambling. How much money can we launder in a day? Worst thing you could do if you're late to school. This is a police video. You are too, the homeless teen who created Louis Vuitton. I tried to join the Illuminati and the two horror videos. For the people saying L, like, bro, when we watch a Darman video, it takes an hour and a half for us to get through one. I think these are W reacts, right? I, you know, I understand we're not watching a Darman today. These are W reacts regardless. W react vids. W choices by the Bartman. W you guys for sending half of these videos to me. Let's get into it. Oh, Lena for the sub. Drake for the 300 bets. Play Pico Park. When are you? Can you please play Pico Park? No. Uh, I am for the thousand biddies. What is the schedule? Today's reacts. Tomorrow's my birthday stream. Uh, tomorrow's general idea is going to be some reacts, an uwu foo foo quiz, Fall Guys. Because I think Fall Guys, if I'm pretty high, will be pretty funny. And then maybe Toxic Valorant. Thoughts? And then whatever the fuck else we want to do. Fall Guys, <laughs> Fall Guys, question mark? Yes. If I, yo, if I'm like, if I'm like decently high and I'm playing Fall Guys, I'll be fucking hell funny as hell. No MC, no Verbus, because it's my birthday. And I don't want to play Minecraft hardcore if I'm drunk and high, because then I'm going to die in the fucking world. Maybe use your brain, right? 
Joe Bart, first time ever drinking and smoking on stream. That will be actually so, such an idiot decision to play fucking Minecraft hardcore. Because then I blow up by a creeper and I have to reset the world. So we're playing it on Wednesday. Tomorrow is my birthday. So we're doing what I just said. Tuesday off, Wednesday, Minecraft. Thursday, FMV games. Damn. Mother for the thousand biddies. Come on for the three. Can you react to scary dash cam video that I suggested in Discord? Not today. Uh, the official for the sub... Not a guarantee either. Uh, I appreciate the $3 dono, but I do pick the reactions that I think will be good for a stream, not the ones that people send me donos for. Uh, Reverb for the 500 bits. I'm back from Cabo. Got to say happy early birthday. Uh, had to save up after that. Love the streams. I don't know if you saw me, but last time I went bungee jumping. Duh. And Reverb for the 500 bitties, bro. Uh, Ryan for the 500 bits. Mother for the 1,000 bits. And Voided for the 300 bits. Thanks for all the entertainment. Can't send much, but thank you. You don't have to send anything. I appreciate the 300 bitties. Henry for the 300 bits. My birthday is February 11th. Cool, Livy for the 300 bits. Uh, I asked for advice for a boy from la from work last Monday while you were playing Minecraft. He just told me he got a girlfriend. Yikes. F in the chat. Sorry to hear that. Not fun. Yo, Cruz Burger. Cruz Burger for the five gifteds, bro. Thank you for the five gifteds, bro. Uh, what's with the hair? New hairstyle. Bro, see, like, and, and then that puts me down. And then that puts me down. Like, motherfuckers hate it. Garlic for the Forge events. We gotta get Joey to play Doors. Nope. All right. Who's the biggest Disney fan? Let's start it up. To all who come to this happy place. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Disneyland. I already know this is gonna be top 10 cringiest videos we've we've seen on, our, on this fucking channel. Already know. Already know. Don't green out like Kai. Bro, I'm not gonna eat a 100 milligram edible like Kai did. Bro, he's 5'6". Why the fuck did he think that would go well? Goblin for the 300 bets. All right. Now, this better be cringy as shit. Disney, the biggest Disney fans, oh my God. It's their entire personality. It's like they're not even a person. They're just a Disney fan. Here is your land. Here, here is your memories of the past. past. And here, here you may savor the, the challenge and promise, promise of, the of the future. Disneyland, Disneyland is dedicated to the ideas, the dreams, and the hard facts that I've And Walt Disney was a Nazi sympathizer, so <laughs> I don't know about this one. America, America, with the hope that it will be a source, source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Yo, literally cult vibes. Yo, being a super Disney fan is literal cult vibes. Like, actually. I'm X mindless for the 25 gifteds. Oh my god. Bro, what is with the gifteds today? I'm 23 minutes into stream. We have 145 subs. We already have more subs than I had all of yesterday. That is nuts. Why are there so many gifted subs? X, I'm X mindless. I think I'm saying your name right. Thank you for the 25 gifteds, bro. Thank them if you got a sub and thank you for the fucking 25 gifteds. God damn. That is insane. Too social for the sub as well. Yo, and Cruz Burger. Cruz Burger, bro. Thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Cruz. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, Eric Close for the sub. Uh, Kratos for the 300 bits. Happy early birthday. Uh, you missed at Sweaty Panda's bits. I'll look at that real quick. And X Mindless. Thank you for the 25 fucking gifted subs. That is insane. Actually insane. Uh, I don't know if you answer this, but would you be interested in playing Last of Us when it comes out on PC? Maybe. I don't know for sure, though. Lucky for the 300 bits. I think you missed my bits. I might have missed your bits in the gifted subs that X Mindless uh, just sent. Um, but I will check right now. Have you ever seen that? I already read that, so I didn't miss your bits. Uh, uh, garbage for the 300 bits. Hear me out on the girl in the wheelchair. I know she might be crippled, but it's gobble bum pink. Dude, that's disgusting. Why? Like, why? Like, uh, like, see, now it's like, like, y'all started doing that shit, and then it just gets weird, right? And then y'all get weird, right? Then y'all get really weird. I, I, I just know it's gobble. Like, bro, come on. Uh, I am for the 600 bits, says Chow. All right, bro, bro, I'm X mindless. Again, one last W in the chat for that. Thank you for the 25 gifteds, dude. That is insane. How are they going to rank them? Because all of these other Disney fans... Like, or not Disney fans, all these other Jubilee videos, they rank them by appearance and then they rank them by like personality and then they have a result. How do you gauge who's the, be the bigger Disney fan? Do you know what I mean? Like, how do you fucking determine 
Like, they, they, they have no fucking definitive scale. Like, what is it? How many times they've been to Disney? Bro, like, I'm not gonna cap. Disney World is kind of like NPC land. Just, like, watching people wallow. Just, like, around Disneyland. Just fucking... Those, with those dumbass Mickey hats on? With those dumbass Mickey hats on, bro? That's deadass NPC shit. Literally. Just fucking wallowing. Like, literally, literally just walking around. And like, but like, and they all, they're just smiling. Ace for the sub, mother for the sub. It's like drugs. Crimson for the sub. Bro, it might be a genetic thing. Maybe Walt Disney knows something that we don't. Or knew something, because he's fucking dead. But, like, dude. Like, when you go to Disney World, if you've ever been, like, there are some people there that are so, like, the happiest they've ever been. And I don't get it. Because, like, I, I like Disney World, but it's not that amazing. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi, friends. Hi, folks. <laughs> okay, based off of looks, I just want to... Yo, what are the odds they do a Disney impression? What are the odds each of them try and do like some like their favorite impression of like Goofy or some shit? That's gonna make me cringe if they do that. Anonymous for the five gifteds. I don't know who the fuck gave those subs, but thank you for the five subs. <laughs> who the fuck gave them? What's with the anonymous subs? I got like ten this stream. Normally I get like none. Pooper for the sub. Ace for the sub. I mean, like I appreciate it regardless, but now I can't shout out who you are. Uh, but thank you for the five gifteds. Point out the amazing Disney. Yo, and yo, one last one last shout, bro. Cruise Burger, bro. Sorry I missed those. Thank you for the five gifted, man. Bound here. <laughs> I think I just want to go ahead and start out by asking you to come right over yeah. here. Okay. Yes, <laughs> valid visually. I've just never seen so many pins before. Oh, yeah. Disney yeah. Channel. Bro, I have a friend that goes to Disney World and steals those. <laughs> Cause, Cause they're worth so much Dude those pins Those pins are like 40 bucks Or some dumb shit <laughs> Bro I remember I was hanging out with him one time He's like yeah no, nah, I stole like last time I was there I stole like 10 pins I was like how did they not catch you He's like I don't know bro but I have like He was like I have like $130 in pins That I just took I'm like bro really He's like yeah $40 bro I don't know how much a Disney pin is how much are Disney World pins? They're between $9.99, $15.99 each. Some pins range from $15 to $25. And he stole $10. So he stole, like, bro, at least $100 in pins. That's a waste of money to buy those. Gar like, bro, how many is that? Garbage for the 300 bits. And then they have the special ones that are even more and they sell out. When I went to Disney World, I tried to buy a Winnie the Pooh hat, and a Disney adult yelled at me and said she claimed it. <laughs> bro, and it's always, it's always, bro, and they, and you know that, bro, they look like they, uh, yo, I'm not trying to diss motherfuckers, but the people that are at Disney World, and, like, they're so in tune with, like, how the vibe's gonna be, that they get so angry. The motherfuckers, they get angry at Disney World, they look like they smell. Am I wrong? Bro. The motherfuckers in Disney World that are just pissed, bro, they look like they smell like cheese curds. They literally look like they smell. You can imagine what they would look like. Just with that goofy-ass Disney hat, probably some food smeared on their fucking mouth, just, like, wallowing, like, like literally, like, wallowing throughout the park, like, aimlessly, like, half of their brain is working. <laughs> bro, like, I, it's just, it's insane. Anonymous for the 10 gifted. Bro, I don't know who gave the subs. Thank you for the subs, though. Tino for the 300 bets. Garbage for the 300 bets. Uh, Spixie for the sub. Cobalt for the three. Did your friend go to Disneyland jail? There's a jail in Disneyland? Oh, yeah. I forgot they have their own police. Uh, Un for the sub. Constal for the sub. Have you ever been to Legoland? No. Constellation for the sub. My bad. Any pins before? Oh, Disney Channel. Somebody said this stream is an L. Yo, let me solve that for you real quick. Band. See you later. Blah, 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 blah.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You wear Disney every day. Every day, my yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> Never comes off. She should move up further. You more like bubbly, outgoing, yeah. so I think. Okay. Yeah. Like maybe. You look like you're on your honeymoon. Right, right here. I, yeah. I'm just gonna go down here. I feel like because so? I'm just wearing all black. I'm just in a team. Bro, you wanna know? I was about to say all he does is promote Disney World, but then I've been promoting McDonald's subconsciously. I wear that, I wear that, like, like twice a week. <laughs> I, bro, it's fire, though. It's the McRib shirt. It's the McRib, it's the McRib, it's, uh, what is it, a crew neck? I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's like, you put it over a shirt. Bro, it's, yeah, twice a week. Bro, yes. That shit's so fire, though. And I have this one, too. They sent it to me, so I just fucking wear it because I think it's funny. Molly for the 310 bits. My dog uh, got approved for him to be my ESA at my college. What is ESA? Like a, a support animal? Smacks you for the sub. What do you mean? I don't know what an ESA animal is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's a dumb question. Cobalt for the three. Imagine somebody at Disney World sues you and you take that and you take them to the Disney World court. That's not a thing. Please for the 500 bits. I went. I was at Disneyland. And doing the sword in the stone thing, and a guy with a Mickey Mouse ears came up to me and said, Only thou who shalt be heir of the king and obtain such an item. <laughs> Bro, it's cringe. They get so... Yo, the only place that's worse is Harry Potter World. The only place that's worse is Harry Potter World. That's where you'll meet... Bro, I don't know which is worse. The, did, if, if a world full of Disney adults... Or, or or a world full of Harry Potter, a, like Harry Potter, like in depth. Like I fucking love Harry Potter. Like it's one of my favorite movie scenes. But like, bro, you will never catch me running around in a robe saying, "Leviosa, Leviosa," fucking running around, uh, running around trying to fucking get the water to come out of the fucking picket. Like, like yo, know, that shit's it's done for that. It's literally done for that. Z pow for the sub. T-shirt and a hat, though. <laughs> and you have the bracelet, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, what, is, what does Voldemort say? What does Voldemort say in fucking Harry Potter? Bro. And then they get into that shit. Yo, yo, if you went around in Harry Potter and you said Voldemort, bro, I guarantee you there would be motherfuckers that would go, <gasps> he, he who shall not be named, and fucking panic. It's avocadabra. It's not abracadabra. It's avada kadabra. Avada. It's avada kadabra, right? Because they get pissed about that too. You say abracadabra, motherfuckers get pissed. Bro, why the hell did J.K. Rowling make the the most dangerous spell in Harry Potter almost word for word the same thing as abracadabra? Like that's dumb as shit. I guess I'll stay. I do love Harry Potter, though. I guess. <laughs> Perhaps I should move to the end since I'm in the least Disney garb. But it's a spirit jersey. It's a classic. Yeah. I feel like you have Because she's crazy? Oh, yeah, no. J.K. Rowling's a nut job. One fresh for the sub. I'm looking at you. I think you have a lot more knowledge than you're putting on. <laughs> so I think you My should Disney come. adult is more of a personality thing, I think. Like, I don't visually... Mm. I don't know. I feel like there's different types of Disney adults, yeah. and there's some yeah, who, agree. like, have the total aesthetic oh. and the collections. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's those who have just the magic and the yeah, personality. The happiness of and, then there's, and then there's the ones that have the Mickey kink, right? The ones that are sexually attracted to Mickey Mouse. That's another, that's its own section of Disney adults. That's so you. I still feel like I should move down like one or two. You want to switch, you guys with switch? Me? Sure, okay, yeah, yeah. We'll switch. <laughs> that's a thing? I don't know. Yeah, I made that shit up. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're locking it in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Bro, how? How are they lock How are they going to define this? How are they defining this? Who's the biggest Disney fan? It, it, how, do you, how do you have an objective ranking? How do you have an objective ranking? What do you do? When, when this is over, how do they rank them? 
Like, how are, how are they like, oh, yeah, you've been to Disney World this amount of times. <sighs> Sorry, I had to loosen that so I could tighten it. <sighs> Molly for the 300 bets. Emotional support animal. Okay. I have severe anxiety and depression, so it helps me with that. Also, your streams cheer me up when I get in a depressive episode. I'm glad my streams could help, and that's a dub that your um, ESA gets to go with you. Uh, what type of dog is it? I think you said it was a dog, right? Molly for the 300 bets. Locked in. They I'm not even on the fucking screen. Jesus Christ. Garlic for the 300 bets. You should play Scrubble with your friends one day. It's like a guessing game. Yeah, I do want to play that with a big group one day on stream. That would be fun. I looked at me, saw my pins and my tattoos, and they threw me at the top. I'm like, whoa, that was surprising. Most of my life, people looked at me, and they just see a guy with tattoos and with a beard and everything. You wouldn't think, oh, this guy listens to princess music on the way to work every day. Or works out Bro, you know the one song I'd listen to that's just straight up from Disney? The fucking Frozen, the Frozen Ice song is so fire. Is this it? This. This song, I hate Frozen too, but this song is so fire, bro. This icy force, both foul and fair, has a frozen harbor binding. So cut through the heart, cold and clear. Bro, you tell me that shit ain't fire as fuck? Beautiful, powerful, dangerous, cold. Ice has a magic can't be controlled. Because it's like badass. It's not like some dumbass fucking mermaid song. Like, I hate those shits. Oh my god. When they break out in song for no reason. Like, you could break out in song Pick an Ice because then it's like, it's like momentous. Like, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I could see people that are harvesting ice break out into a song, right? Because you keep the momentum, right? But you break it out into a song because you're sad and you just start singing and looking at the stars, fucking bursting, crying. Like, oh my god, shut up. Or feed for the 300 bits. My chorus teacher played that song for a Christmas concert. Bro, it's a dub. Taste Toast for the 300 bits. I don't know 10, but I don't know if it went through. Thank you for the 10. I didn't see the 10, but if you gave me a 10, thank you for the $10 donut, bro. Polly for the sub. Anonymous for the five gifteds. Molly for the 300 bets. A mini long-haired Dashend. That's a wiener dog, right? His name's Winston. Dub. You got a TikTok? <laughs> you have a TikTok for your dog? Garbage for the 300 bets. On the same trip, there was a Jedi training, and like a nine-year-old and a grown-ass woman were next to me and would bump into me so she could be more in the front, and I was pushed back. <laughs> Because of her, and I have a personal dr uh, grudge to Disney adults. Bro, did y'all see that dumb shit where you could pay five grand to sleep on, like, the Star Wars ship for one day? That's nuts. That's nuts. Like, that you would pay that amount of money for that. You sleep on the, you sleep on the starship, and, like, it's, like, very interactive, and there's actors that are always around you, and you have objectives and shit, but it's so fucking stupid. Right? Because it's not real. Right? If it was real and you gave me a real lightsaber or some shit, it would be cooler. And they have, like, lightsaber training, too. Bro, like, no. That, it just, like, it seems overpriced. Just so overpriced. <laughs> Ugh. King Wolves for the Vibers Bet says, Milan, let's get down to business. Yo, that one is fire. Yo, you another, you know another one that's fire? Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights is also fire. Wait, just the intro. Yo, y'all grilled me for this too, and then I put Zeusy on this song because this song's fire as fuck. Wait, hold up. When the wind in the glass is right. Wait, this one, this one, this one right here, right here, right here. Stop on by, hop a carpet and fly to another Arabian night. Yo, that shit's so heat. Imagine, imagine like rocking on a camel or some shit. Bro, nah, 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 nah. All right, we got to get back into it. We got to get back into it. Uh, once upon a time in the gym or anything like that. Hey, good humans. Jason here. When I'm feeling blue, I... Uh, 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 sponsor. Uh, uh, uh. My brother kept this. My nickname is Tiger. My entire family calls me that. They don't call me Michael. They call me Tiger. 
And then of course, the loud and proud, the, obviously the Disneyland Chappie Chip. So I, I literally carry this every time I go. You made that? I designed it. I even had a young boy, he followed me for about 30 minutes because he was terrified to go up to me. Aww. I'm like, dude, hip. Take it, dude. Just pose with <laughs> like, Mom, I'm the champ. So the, the metal detectors don't go off? There was where I probably thought it was a WWE belt. There was one security guard named Robert. He Disneyland champion. If you can dream it, you can do it. But he's happy about it, right? Like, I don't want to make fun of him, right? Because, like, it's like, it's he's, he's not harming anybody. He's nice, right? But, like, I would have put another badass quote, right? I would have put, like, a badass Disney quote. Because there has to be one. There has to be some fire-ass Disney quote. Outside of, if you can dream it, you can do it, right? I know that's the most famous one. But still. Gear for the 300 bits. You are for sure the best streamer. Love your streams. Thank you. Abby's for the 300 bits. Or Abby. I have the funniest story ever. When I turned 10, I went to Disneyland or Disney and Harry Potter land. I got a wand. I kid you not. I had one of the wands. This grown ass man came up to me and said, I am thou chosen one. I am a wizard in a world of students. <laughs> this bitch pushes me over and I fell fucking broke my wrist. My dad sued him for $15,000. I am but a wizard amongst you students. And he fucking body slams you. <laughs> and tell Manifest to watch their back. I'm coming for Bart Box. Or for their Bart Box. Or for the, the Bart Box. Fuck. z pal for the 300 bets. Why spend $5,000 to sleep on a Star Wars ship when you can do... When you can spend... Uh, or when you can better spend it on G Fuel. Facts. Exclamation point G Fuel code Joe B. 20% off. He knows me. Like, like yeah. oh, this is champ. You're good. Go ahead, go ahead, champ. <laughs> oh, thanks, Robert. Appreciate you. This is Pluto from Tokyo. Pluto is my absolute favorite, in case <laughs> people tell. And this is my Club 33 pin. Um, you know what's really weird is Goofy is a dog, and Goofy owns Pluto, who is also a dog. Isn't that odd? Goofy's a cow? Goofy's a cow? No. Is Goofy a cow? Goofy is an anthropomorphic dog. He is not a cow. He is not a cow. The girl is a cow. Goofy's crush. Goofy's crush. Who am I thinking of? No, it's not. Yeah, Clarabelle Cow. The girl is a cow. He's a dog. Yeah, and he owns a dog. That's like, and he like, bro, that's weird. Is it, Goofy's a dog who owns a dog. And that, the dog doesn't talk, but Goofy can. I don't know. It's just, it makes no sense. That is not weird. Mickey owns Pluto. Oh, Mickey owns Pluto. See, that's even weirder. That's even weirder. A mouse owns a dog. Yo, that furthers my that furthers my speculative reasoning that Mickey is actually a dictator. And he is he is actually a terrible person. And he sniffs the other wear at Disney World. Marshy for the 300 bits. I gave you a donor yesterday. Have you ever tried Prime? I have. Radiant for the sub Oge for the 300 bits. Uh, much love. Keep up the good work. Uh, been watching your YouTube. z -Pow for the 300 bits. Uh, Marshy for the 300 bits. Cosmic for the 300 bits. Ninth birthday came around. My dad took me to Disneyland. He got me to do the Jedi training with the Jedis. And I got hit in the stomach and lost some Disney adult in the crowd. Goes, you are weak. You are too weak to be a Jedi. And I bawled my eyes out in front of hundreds. You should have punched him in the nuts. Wow. And I got to go one time. And so I... Club 33 is a private membership restaurant at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. It's the most exclusive Disney dining in the world. With a long waiting list to join, access to the club is restricted to members, VIPs, celebrities, and executives. Splurged on a pin. I grew up going to Tokyo Disney. These are uh, first year tickets from 1980. Um, I actually mortgaged my house so I could live in Disney World for three weeks.
1983. I, it's not mine. I was not born in 1983. All right, so mine are my Vera Wang ears. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, that's, that's yes, it's very limited. Because of my Disney content creator path, I was able to purchase these, and it just really means a lot because we didn't have a lot of money growing up and we weren't able to afford Disney trips. So me being able to purchase this pair of ears was like a really, really big deal. So the first one I have is my annual pass from 2008. Um, there's a little photo of me as like a little baby <laughs> on it. And then the second thing, um, my biggest connection with Disney is definitely my relationship with my mom. We always spent like Mother's Day there and all that stuff. This is just one of the three or four I have of all the charms that she bought me every single time we went together. Okay, so this little guy right here, um, he's supposedly from Japan, 1960s, roughly. That thing looks dumb as fuck. I... <laughs> It looks like he's sitting in a tomato. Why are his pants so big? He, um, he also squeaks for some reason. <laughs> I love it's it. a dog So, like, toy. these are supposed to be his legs, but... <laughs> that looks like a ball sack. Yeah. When that. you spread it like that, I don't know. <laughs> uh, these are his feet, I guess. So I brought uh, my favorite Aww. movie, The Little Mermaid. The... Glitch Legacy for the five gifteds, bro. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Like for the 300 bets. What's your dream car? Probably a, a Lamborghini... Adventador is like super dream car. Regular dream car, like more realistic. Stingray Corvette. Wub to for the 1864. We'll be able to tune in tomorrow's stream because of work. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the fucking 1864. Wub to Or Wub to Lozy. Thank you for the fucking 18. Uh, and Glitch for the 300 bits and the five gifteds. Thank you. This is the uh, first VHS tape that my mom got me. I used to watch it like on repeat. Like, Yo, she's definitely on the bottom now because if she does like I I'm pretty sure I have a VHS tape of like Disney fucking movies. Every every single day for a couple hours. Yeah, that's not even rare. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Yo. Never mind, they're in storage. Zero, bro, I was gonna say, I genuinely might have that exact one. Die B for the sub. Do you guys wanna rearrange yourselves based off of those possessions? You're you fine. Stay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Stay. You, you're the champ. <laughs> this thing is throwing me off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the only way you can search this up is through reverse Google image search. Like, that's how wow. obscure Okay, you should, you should move. You should move. You should move. I still think we should switch. Really? Yes. Yeah, I think we should. A thousand yeah, percent. Like, yes. You said Tokyo was your OG project. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so, yeah. All right, we good here? Bro, her shirt reminds me of, like, the nurse's office in elementary school. Like, both of these shirts. When you, like, fucking puked in class or some shit. Bro, I used to go to the nurse's office in elementary school, and I would say my throat hurt, but my throat didn't hurt. The reason I would say that is because she would give me this spray that, like, tingled, and it tasted like cherries. And so, and so she would be like, dude, every day, every fucking day, my throat hurts. I would pull up, I would pull up and I would be like, yeah, no, it's really bad this time. She would spray the thing, she would spray the shit in my mouth and I would go, all right. And then I would go back to class. <laughs> I wouldn't even sit there. I would just leave. I would, she would just do it and I would go back. I would do it every day. Salty for the sub. Garbage for the 300 bets. In fourth grade, my teacher was a Disney doll and hated me. I once said in her classroom, um, I once said her classroom sucked because it was covered in Disney shit. Oh, dude, that probably fucking ruined her day. Wazzy for the 300 bets. Do you think you would beat the shit out of somebody, out of somebody that likes Universal more than Disney? Do you think we'll beat the shit out of some... What do you... Are you saying a universal person would beat a Disney person or vice versa? I don't know what you're asking me. Are we good here? Bro, this is what they said. I, a, a lot of people try and diss me and say I can't read, but this is what they said. Do you think we'll beat the asterisk, 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 asterisk out of someone that likes universal more than Disney? 
I don't know what you're asking me. See, like, uh, like, uh, like, that's not like a Joe can't read. That's like, I don't know what you're trying to say. Favorite Disney park. Wait, what the fuck did that say? The group will now discuss their Disney experiences and what it means to be a Disney adult. Favorite Disney park or experience you guys have been to? Dapper Day. Oh, I love it. Dapper Day is so Dapper much fun. Day. Going in the grad night, just oh. in the park with thousands of kids here. Oh, look, I'm school's banned from Disneyland. <laughs> I had to go to Six Flags over there. Okay, so the park's opening, you're there. Like, what are the first five rides you go to? If Depends. you're going to. Oh! Oh, I know. None of them, because Disney rides fucking suck in comparison to any other theme park. Disney rides are fucking terrible. They're not good. They're fucking trash. They will always be trash. They're mediocre at best. Six Flags is a million times better than any Disney ride you could ever fucking go on. Name the best Disney ride. Name the best Disney ride. Rock and roller coaster. Soloed by every other roller coaster at Six Flags. Immediately soloed. Any other roller coaster at Six Flags, already better. No, but the experience, Space Mountain. Bro, that thing is dick. Space Mountain sucks ass. Go on fucking Batman backwards in the middle of the night. That shit is fucking terrifying. That's great. Space Mountain sucks. Rock and Roller Coaster sucks. They all fucking suck. Splash Mountain, that thing got discontinued. L. If you're going to Disneyland. Infinity for the Thringe Best. Off topic, why, is, why Kai is getting a massage on stream? Bro, bro, a seventy one thousand people are watching him get a massage. Death for the sub. If it's just me and my wife, then we're here, uh, Space Mountain, Star Tours, Indiana Jones, Galaxy's Edge, come back to Matterhorn, which is the whole plan. Hi. Bro, and you know why it sucks even more? Because you're going on Space Mountain, which is mid at best, right? Five out of ten. Six out of ten, maybe, right? You could go on Nitro, uh, King Dakar, that's not even a roller coaster. Uh, right, no, King Dakar, I'm thinking of Zoom Jaro. Uh, King Dakar, uh... Fucking Nitro, the Joker ride, the Batman ride, uh, Green Lantern, Superman, any other fucking Six Flag ride better than this. And the line is one-tenth the size. Livy for the 300 bits. What's your favorite Six, La Six Flags ride? Nitro. Nitro's fire because it's so fast. Zooted for the 510 bits. It's not a full lock one. Can you look at your Instagram DMs? I sent you a picture. I'm not trying to promote. Uh, I want you to look. Bro, for the last time... When you send me Instagram DMs, I don't look at them. I will not see them. I don't know. Like, I'm not even going to respond or answer. No. I'm sorry. No. Zooted for the 510 bits. You can send it to one of my mods, and my mods could could send it to me. I'm not checking my Instagram DMs. I'm not responding to your Instagram DM. No. Mountain I'm not trying to be a dick, but I've said this like a million times on stream. It's just no. Towards Indiana Jones, Galaxy's Edge, come back to Matterhorn. It's a whole plan. Hot, hot take, but I don't really. Like, I could literally look right now, and I don't even know who you are. Like, I don't even know who you are. And the second I pulled it up, somebody DM'd me the N-word. Literal loser energy. See, that's what they do. Whoever the fuck in my stream just DM'd me the N-word, you're a dickhead. See, that's what I mean, though. Like, I'm not checking that. No. That's why I don't check my DMs. That's why I will never check my DMs, because people do that shit. Nope. So, for the love of God, if you have a message you want to send, send it in a bit, don't know. Send it to one of my mods that could send to me some shit like that. No. Send it to one of my mods. Don't pester them. Send it to one of my mods if it's, like, something serious on Discord. I, I don't know. J just don't fucking DM me. <laughs> like that. I'm not going to answer. They do rope drop. Because it's just I don't too no, many too people. And don't too ask me. Because then I feel bad. Then you give me money and you're like, hey, can you respond? No. I've already said it before, so I'm just going to say it again. Even if you give me money, I'm not looking at your Instagram DM. You know that scene in Lion King, the one where we don't... It's one... parasocial, even if it's not trying to be. No. That we don't no, want to talk about. Yes. And the yes. wildebeest are just... Yes, <laughs> yes that's yeah. really what it's like. That's people at Rope yes. Drop. I've Rise lost the, the, the parent to Rope Drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Somebody said L Joe. How is that an L Joe? See, it's like every time somebody does this. 
Every time, so hey, Joe, can you check my Instagram DM? No, uh, yeah, I used to check Instagram DMs when I started social media, but then I realized it got more parasocial with how obsessive people got over me. Uh, I don't really want to deal with that anymore, and I don't really want to check my DMs to begin with because it's hard to even find what your DM was. A genuinely respectful response from the Bartman. And then I get hit with an L, Joe. That's not an L. You're just being stupid. Oh, how much? I know it might come off as, like, dickheadish because they just gave me 500 bits and I'm saying no, but it's just, like, I've said no a million times in the past, and I've prefaced it, too. That Sorry that wasn't me. Sorry, Joe, I didn't know that. My bad. You're good. I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I don't deal with that. That's why I'm not pressed at you, but, I like, I do say on stream, no. Do you guys spend on a typical day at a Disney park? Well, I'm a college student. All right, hold up. I got to rewind. One that we don't no, want to talk yes. about, and the yes. wildebeests are just... Yes, <laughs> yes that's yeah, really what it's like. That's people at Rope yes. Drop. I've Rise lost the a parent to Rope Drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How much do you guys... Yo, and didn't they get rid of Tower of Terror at Disney World, too? Bro, that's how you know Disney World sucks dick in the ride realm now. That was, like, the only good ride that would kind of match, like, anything outside of roller coasters. I thought they were getting rid of it. I literally just went. I thought they're getting rid of it. I know they got rid of Splash Mountain. I thought they're getting rid of that too. We're full for the three inch bits. Anything about Discord? Hit me up in Whispers. I'll ask Cruz to look into it if he's willing to. That's what we're full said. Uh, and Libby for the three inch bits. I spend on a typical day at a Disney park. Well, I'm a college student, so. How much do you think they're going to say? How much do you spend at a typical day at a Disney park? I think the low end's going to be a hundred bucks. The high end's going to be a thousand. Do you guys spend on a typical day at a Disney park? Well, I'm a college student, so like at maximum 30 bucks. 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I have um, a shopping problem. Yes, I'm in debt, but that's okay. I'm in uh, Disney debt and that's yep. happy debt. So <laughs> I'm debating switching you. Switch? Okay. Switch? Yeah. And you know, Walt Disney himself said that when I die, he's going to harvest my soul. So... I mean, when you weigh it that way, uh, just I'm in Disney debt, so it's not even that big of a deal, right? I signed a contract. They said I could get unlimited amount of toys, and all I have to do is give Walt Disney my soul when I die. I splurge on the food, and I'm all right, let's switch. Let's switch. switch. Let's spend like maybe 60, 70 bucks. Get over here. <laughs> get over here. Come on. It's making me feel so cheap right now. <laughs> I know. I feel so poor over here. Disney on a budget, Solid. Disney on a budget. Yay. Do you guys want to get into what Disney means to you guys? It started from when I was a kid watching the movies because we couldn't afford to go to the parks as much. So um, I would watch a lot of Disney movies and Little Mermaid. The parks suck. The movies are better. Just fucking, bro, I just spit all over my goddamn screen. Fuck. Bro, the parks suck dick. Comparably. What does parasocial mean? It's when somebody thinks they're your friend when you don't even know them. Or something of those sorts. It's just being, it's being overtly close to somebody that you don't even, that they don't even know you. Uh, or just like weird. Daddy from the Three Ninja Bets. They didn't get rid of the Tower of Terror, Splash Mountain. Tower of Terror was rethemed to Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, Amaraka for the sub. Was my first introduction to Disney. <laughs> the pure joy of everybody. You can go literally anywhere in the world and you say Disney or Mickey Mouse and someone knows what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. There really is something there for everyone at the park. For me, kind of all my social circles kind of relate to Disney. Like all my friends, we have magic key passes and everything. I mean, it's called the happiest place on earth. It's like, it's a source of happiness. It's like I don't have to think about like student loan debt or <laughs> yeah. I can just like... Yeah, but see, I feel like this is kind of like panning into like how big of a scheme the Disney the Disney franchise is. You know what I mean? Like they're saying they're going into this like I don't have to think about my college loan debt. I don't have to think about all my problems. But at the same time you just spent 3 400 dollars at Disney World for 2 days. And they're they're just scheming shit off of you. The food's overpriced. The ride's overpriced. The park pass is overpriced. The parking's overpriced. Everything's overpriced, right? And you're just like feeding into that. Forget about everything. I mean, it's their hobby. It's whatever. But saying that like, oh, it's just a happy place and it's a void of all like money problems. Like, no, it creates the money problems. <laughs> it's expensive. Abducted for the sub, CJ for the sub, call out for the three. When's the Mr. Beast video you're in coming out? Dude, I get asked this every day. I don't know. It's the next video, though. 
and Iraq of the set. Uh, I don't know, though. Probably like two weeks. I thought it was supposed to be like this week, but then the, the blind video actually got flopped. That one got posted first, so it's the burger video next. And just like go back to like happy, nostalgic times when I've been there with my friends mm -hmm. or like family members who might not be here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. We used to go with my great grandma, um, especially when they had um, cookie decorating at the park. So we'd go during Christmas time. And then we'd go with my dad a lot, too. And now see, this is sad. Like, see, now I get now I get why she's going, right? It's nostalgic. It's fun. It brings back memories that she had. I understand that. But the whole idea that it voids all problems from the past, like, no, it creates a lot of problems monetarily, too. This is sad. I understand her reasoning on why she goes. But it's nice to like to go there and then like sort of like oh hey this is what this is uh this was his favorite ride this was uh this was my great grandma's favorite food and stuff like that and like kind of like relive relive that and then just kind of imagine how they would think like how the park has changed since since then. You will see me every single time crying at Fantasmic, every fireworks show, <laughs> and like the connection, like I said, with my mom. We have like little tattoos, matching tattoos. The fireworks show is fire. I do remember that. I fucking love fireworks. The fireworks show was so good. So the Neverland Aww. stars together. Aww. I'm gonna, you're gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Japan, and Disney is like the first exposure to Western movies for Asian kids, I would say. So, you know, every Japanese kid knows about Disney movies. And I also, I don't know if we can get into this, but I feel like in defense of Disney adults, a lot of hobbies are rooted in childhood. People collect comic books and like build model railroads. I don't know why Disney adults get a bad rap. Do y'all have hobbies anymore though? Like they're saying, why are they getting bad raps? Cause they collect comic books or like, like people collect comic books. They play Magic the Gathering. They do like Disney adults. Then there's people that like collect things or knit. Like I have no hobbies. <laughs> Yo. I have no hobbies, bro. Like, I'm like, I, I play video games. That I, I feel like that would be, is that a hobby? Does that count? I guess that counts. I would say that's more, that applies to, to everybody, though. That's sad. Bro, how is that sad? I wake up. I go to the gym, which is a hobby, I guess. Eat, stream, do homework. Do fucking TikToks, YouTube sponsorships. Play video games. That's it. I don't have time for anything else. Uh, garbage from Thringe Bits. Disney adults sell their souls to the Disney sniffer. Facts. Red from Thringe Bits. I, was a, I have a hobby of doing scale models like World War II tanks and planes. Today I'm doing the US M1A2 Abrams. Cool. Up for enjoying yeah. nostalgia. I forgot Joe was in college. Yeah, I'm a junior. And trying to go back to a simple. In college time in childhood is weed smoking a hobby i don't know but i do see that a lot of gen zers are swaying away from having hobbies and that hobby time instead of having a hobby they just smoke weed and watch tv so i don't, I don't know if that counts as a hobby we for the 300 bits my hobby has to be pokemon bro how shit the new game or how old it is i will still play it over and over like i really could name the whole pokedex really every pokemon i really don't understand how someone crying when they see Cinderella how old am i i'm 20 i turned 21 in literally like nine hours i was castle how that's hurting anybody but i guess it's cringe because we're older and people think disney's for kids people have to do what makes them happy and i think that's the problem with society now is we're so trained to do what people think we should do. And I just think it's just important to stay true to yourself. There's such a stigma. There's such yeah. a stigma. Yeah. They're just like crapping on everybody else's happiness. It's just like, <laughs> let people be happy for what they like. No, I'm not shitting. Bro, you can be a Disney adult. I ain't give a fuck if you're a Disney adult. I just think like the Mickey ears, extra, right? Like the whole fit, like extra. Like I don't got like, bro, I used to play Magic the Gathering every day. Cringe as fuck. Right, like it was a dope ass game. I still think it's a dope ass game. If somebody, if I somehow still had my Magic the Gathering set and I pulled up and somebody was like, "Hey, you want to play Magic the Gathering?" I'd be like, "Yes, 
Right, I, I would immediately be like, yeah, no doubt. And I'd fucking sit down and I would pull out my mana cards and shit and I would play that. Oh, I cast this and I would play that fucking dumbass card. Like, it's fun as hell. But, like, it's I feel like Disney adults, it matches the cringe and waste of money, right? Like, like some hobbies, like, I've had in the past, cringe, right? But it's, it's still fun to you and that's great. But, like, Disney is, being a Disney adult is so expensive. Yeah. yeah, like we're not hurting anyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For the stigma, honestly, is people that think we don't take things seriously. We still want to be a kid. We want to goof around, which is, to be honest, kind of true, but out of time. Once it's time to go for real in the real life and work, pay bills, do what we got to do, we'll flip that switch real quick. Then again, when it's time to fun, we'll flip that switch. I like Michael. W. Michael. It'll be fun. It's fun to be weird. It's boring to be normal. And like, I feel like there's always niches and that's the beautiful thing about the human race is that there's yeah. so many different hobbies for everyone to enjoy. Niche. Yeah, yeah like, it's, well, it's a fandom. I'm happy to be part of a community that's very in touch with their inner child and oh, happy to be a big kid no matter what. There's just something that the family legacy resonates in all of us that we're all kind of part of this big family when we go. The reason being a Disney adult is shit on a lot and I'm not saying I agree with this opinion, right? I don't. But I feel like a lot of people view Disney adults as people who are stuck in their childhood. Because if you like Magic the Gathering, that's not, your pers that's not your personality. If you like Pokemon, that's not your personality, right? But when you're a Disney adult, it's a big chunk of who you are. Like, in... in, in a lot of people perceive it as that thing that Michael was saying of like, oh, you're stuck being a kid. Go to Disneyland. Absolutely. It's such a place of a... I'm not saying that, though. I understand it is just like a hobby, but there are some Disney adults that do sway the majority of opinion. There are some Disney adults that are literally so in tune with it to the effect that, like, they don't want to do anything but Disney. Ape. To all who come to this happy place. <laughs> Welcome. Disneyland is your land. land. Here, here is we live fond memories, memories of the past. past. And, and here you may savor the challenge and promise, promise of, the of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideas, the dreams, and the heart that have created America. America. With, With the hope that will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Yeah. I'd like to yeah. they run on that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know this. I don't know if I belong here. <laughs> Has anyone worked at Disney? Okay, yeah. 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 As they should. That's right. Can you guys talk a little bit about some of you have brought up like the money aspect of Disney? Oh, oh god. Yeah. Oh. It's sad, but Disney is kind of the wealthy people's vacation now, yeah. and it's not very accessible to people. There is such an immense privilege, I think all But of then they never shit on Disney, right? Like it's the wealthiest people vacation because Disney makes it that way. It could be cheaper, but they're money hungry. Like, you, I understand Disney is very fancy. It costs a lot of money to, like, have all this shit up. And it, it, it costs a lot of money to run and there's a lot of workers. It could be cheaper, though. Human for the sub, Brohan for the sub. But the, the demand is so high that they can up the pricing because people will still pay. Granny for the sub, Cryptic for the sub, TR for the sub, Bakey for the fringe bits. Going through rough times with my grandpa's illness and your streams have really helped me out. I'm sorry your grandpa's uh, ill, uh, but I'm glad my streams could help. Uh, and sorry I can only give you 300 biddies, but you don't have to give biddies at all. Uh, any bits are great. You don't even have to give them at all. I appreciate everybody that just even watches. And Cruz for the fringe bits. I just had the actual worst shake of my life. What do you mean shake? Do you mean shit? To have to be evil to, just to go to the park once, let yeah. alone yeah. multiple times. I mean, I have a relative who shake that ass. Waited like seventy years of her life just to be able to go to Disney. That was like her one dream, and she finally got to go, and it was the most special thing. I hope people don't take it for granted. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Disney used to be. Oh, when growing up, my. My dad never told me this, but he would literally go broke and work double shifts for us to go to Disneyland. And I didn't know, I was a kid. I was like, oh yeah, he's my- he's for People like, I respect that, but then I'm like, damn, like, how are they not mad at Disney for being so expensive? Because it, it can be cheaper. Like, they're not making, like, pennies on the fucking sales, right? Like, they're up-pricing the shit out of cost 
cost to fucking uh, pricings. Inspiration to work, two jobs to take my girls to Disneyland, let them have the experience I did. My oldest daughter is named Aurora after Sleeping Beauty, and my youngest is named Ariel after Little Mermaid. And those are the love of my life. So I absolutely adore them. And every time we go to Disneyland, my oldest, Dad, that's my castle. Absolutely, Princess, that is your castle. Or if we go to California Adventures, you see Little Mermaid. Daddy, that's me. Absolutely, Princess, that is you 100%. So I, I love my little girls with all my heart. I actually do have a quick question, if that's okay. How many different parks have you guys gone to? I've done all four Disney World, um, the California ones, and Tokyo Disney, Tokyo Disney Sea. Four Disney World parks, Blizzard Beach, Caliad, and Disneyland. Okay. Two. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been to California Adventure and Disneyland. Also two. Okay, cool. <laughs> they thing. haven't even been to Disney World? Put them in the fucking back. Put them in the fucking back. Bro, are you, yo, they're not, they're not Disney. I've been to Disney World. That's the only one I've been to. Isn't Disney World the best one? I know it's not the oldest, but like, bro, isn't Disney World the most popular one in Florida? In Orlando, that's the best one. In California Adventure, okay, cool, yeah. two. All four Disney World parks, DCA, Disneyland. Yeah, Magic Kingdom. Uh, Typhoon Lagoon. Same as you, except Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah, Disneyland, same thing, DCA. all Disney World. Blizzard Beach, and then of course the two in California, so seven. Oh yeah, do the cruises count? Bro, okay. put her up. She been at every fucking one. Put her up. Yeah, so, that's a whole other experience. Then, yeah, Disney that's... Cruise Line, never going on that. The three yeah. never, never catching me going on that. So you had a cruise too? Fuck no. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh my god. Yo, if I had, yo, I have kids one day, I'd bring them on the Disney Cruise Line. Just getting pissed drunk with the fucking Mickey Mouse guy. No. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go down here. Go yeah, up, go okay. up, go up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How do you guys feel about this? Yeah. 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 <laughs> She's thinking. <laughs> yeah, but how are they going to do the objective rankings? Actual ranking. Wait, 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 wait. You sure? You're locking sure. in? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Locking in now. The group will now be arranged by who's the most Disney adult. Ranked by total number of visits to the Disney parks in their lifetime. In seven? Oh my god. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess 120. I'm gonna guess 120 top. I'm gonna guess five bottom. We have Anna, 34 times. Oh my god, that's the lowest. Oh. <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah. In sixth, Jack, 50 times. Oh my gosh. In fifth, Rosie, 185 times. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, that yo, it might be a thousand. Yo, how the fuck? What counts as a visit? Like a day there? Oh my god. Bro, a hundred. How much? Yo, how much is that gonna cost? How much does a Disney World pass cost? Annual. Because they probably have the annual ones. 1400 a year for an annual pass. But what does that get you? But that's so expensive. Isn't a Six Flags yearly pass like a hundred bucks? Car room for the sub. What is happening? In fourth, Grace, 270 times. Holy shit. In third, Michael, 900 times. 900 times? No! Okay, at at minimum, at minimum, at minimum, bro, that a visit a day, right? Because a visit, so he's been there 900 days. Karu for the sub. 900 days. Because a visit wouldn't be two in a day, right? 
Because, like, a visit wouldn't be, oh, you pull up, you leave, you come back. That's not two visits. That's still one. So he's been there for 900 days, 900 times. What? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but the champ. <laughs> well, that's almost three years of being at Disney World. <laughs> In second, Kaylee, 2,000 times. 2,000? 2,000? 2,000? Oh, my God. And they worked. No, but they worked there. Okay, so that's, uh, no, that's almost understandable. These two worked there. She never worked there. How many times has she been there? Paying. Because they went for free when they worked, right? Bro, how many years is that? Bro. And in first, Caitlin, 5,000 times. 5,000? That's 10 years. That's 10 years of time. No. Bro, look at them. Look at their faces. Wow. How do you count that? Are you yeah. right? Okay, so this always mind. happens on ranking. It's like, what? How do you count that? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> With the help of my parents. <laughs> wow. This is not what I was more. expecting. Oh. Oh. Not what I was thinking I, at all. I, Dang. But yeah, we, Damn, she's paid the salary of like four people at Disney for like five years in a row. We would go... 5,000 times? Uh, we bow down to you. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yo, she ain't gonna explain that? She gonna, she ain't gonna, we ain't gonna go in an in-depth? Yo, please, thank you. Disney wasn't paid for lunch and a few rides. During the Bro, summer. I need an explanation on this. Yeah, and if Disney wasn't in my life, I, I don't think I'd be as positive of a person, <laughs> honestly. So I think um, that's where a lot of, uh, my uh, happiness and positivity comes from. I didn't expect to be over here. <laughs> really? With 5,000? You were you expecting did that? <laughs> what? Yeah, with 5,000? So you guys have been a ton too. Like, yeah. what was it, 2,000? Yeah. 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 Probably, yeah, about 2,000. Well, because I started working there when I was 18, and it was just the people that I worked with, we became a big family. I think it doesn't matter how many times you've been to Disneyland. I think a Disney adult is oh no it matters oh no it matters five thousand times that's over how many years is that how many years is that bro what the fuck 10 years is 3650 so how many years is five thousand divided by 365 that's 13 that's over 13 and a half years bro like, yeah, she hasn't been there 24 hours, but that means she visited that many days. 5,000 days. Big sauce for the sub. How do you not get bored of that shit? Am I wrong? Yo, chat. Like, in the next 20 years, say you go to Disney World a thousand times. After the 500th time you're there, you're like, okay, this shit blows dick. I'm like, okay, this shit sucks. Like, I would not want to go anymore. 5,000 times. Holy shit, she never even worked there. Just a paying customer, 5,000 times. That boy from the Three Ninja Vets. Imagine doing anything 5,000 times. Eating McDonald's 5,000 times. Going to the gym 5,000 times. Bro. Like, I don't think I've been to the gym 5,000 times. Like, I started working out my fresh... I couldn't have. I couldn't have been... I started working out when I was 14. I'm 20. I turned 21 in nine hours. I've never even been to the gym 5,000 times. There's no fucking way. The lady in first has to be lying. There's no fucking shot. That boy for the 300 bets. I saw the lady in the wheelchair move her foot. That doesn't mean that she can walk. Bro, that is nuts. Holy shit. All right, now we got to move on to the next video. My thoughts on gambling. You should gamble. That's right, I said it. You all should gamble so you learn firsthand how stupid gambling is. Here's... You all should gamble so you learn firsthand how stupid gambling is.
Crucible for the three bits. Uh, while we're on top of year two, motherfucker. All right. Headed back to Disney in February. You know the drill. Who am I getting a pick with this year? What you're going back to Disney right now? Oh, you're going back to Disney in February. Who do you get a picture with? Who does Crucible take a picture with at Disney this year? Low picks for the sub abducted for three inch bets. One of these days, I will send the biggest dono you ever received. Dub. But you don't have to do that, though. But I mean, I will, I, I will appreciate that if you do. But regardless, it, it, donations are optional on my channel. Mickey, he did Mickey last year. Do do Goofy. I'm feel no, do Goofy or uh Goofy or like Buzz. Goofy or like Buzz Lightyear. I'm rocking with that. I'm rocking with that. Do one of those. Low picks for the sub. All right. Here's the stitch with gambling, okay? Gambling is only Oh, I did Goofy last year too. Fuck. Then do yeah, then do Buzz Lightyear. Un All right, I got to rewind this. Gambling is Here's the stitch with gambling, okay? Gambling is only fun if you don't understand math. Hum That's not true. <laughs> That's immediately not true. Yes, there are people that don't understand the math of gambling, but gambling's fun because you win. When you win, it's fun. It's one of the only ways where you can actually make money from money. You can just bet money, you can wager money and get more out of it from almost doing nothing. You can also lose it doing the same thing. That's why it's fun. The emotions you get from winning. If you went into gambling and it's always lost, yeah, you're not going to be fucking happy. Yeah, there are people that don't understand the math, but still, you got to be a dumbass to fucking sit on a roulette table and see it hit black fucking seven times and genuinely believe your odds have increased on it hitting red. You're an idiot if you think that. Humans have been gambling since the dawn. No, but it surely do. On of whenever money was invented. That's why, like, it actually, when you go to a casino and you see the screen that they have, on, and this is specifically for roulette. I'm not even talking about other games. When you're on roulette and you see that they showed the previous numbers that it hit, useless. Don't even look at it. Don't even fucking look at it. I don't know why. The reason they show it is so you hedge your bets and bet larger amounts on fucking on, on higher values when things hit a certain amount in a row. When you see red fucking 30 times, you're like, damn, it must hit black this time. No, the odds are exactly the same every time for every single number. I mean, just take one look at the Las Vegas Strip and you will immediately understand how lucrative the gambling industry is. They built the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, and Caesar's Palace all on the same street. Gambling is everywhere in Las Vegas. As soon as you step off the plane, you're bombarded with slot machines in the airport. Are you kidding? Do they really have slot machines in the airport? me you can't wait to gamble as soon as you step off the airplane you just immediately go oh. do they really that's nuts they have slot machines in the airport in las vegas i uh, gotta win big look i understand why people gamble i get it i play magic the gathering and opening <laughs> up a booster pack and not getting any expensive cards is the exact same feeling as losing your entire life savings. Yo, that's how I knew I was going to have a gambling addiction later in life because I used to do that at Target. When I, when, I, when I was addicted to Magic the Gathering, I used to pull up and buy booster packs and just look up their value and try and resell them. That's all I would do. Fizz for the sub, uh, low picks for the sub, and Jordan for the three-inch bets. The one and only time I ever went to Disney, we stayed at Animal Kingdom, and I got really excited, so I sprinted full speed into the glass door, absolutely knocking my shit. Later that night, my brother threw up all over my grandma. <laughs> Yo, what a fun trip, though. The first time I... Joe has a gambling addiction? No. My chat jokingly says I have a gambling addiction because I buy too many scratch-offs. But I turned 21 in nine hours, so within two months, we'll see whether or not a gambling addiction forms because then I'll be able to legally fucking throw bones at the casino. Expensive cards is the exact same feeling as losing your entire life savings. The first time I gambled, I was in Australia for VidCon. After the convention, me and a bunch of mates went to a bar, and I found out that there was a casino attached to it. And I thought, perfect, I'm in a different country, so my parents will never find out that I gambled. 
Plus, I'm of legal age and independent. <laughs> Let's get our gambling freak on. I was only comfortable asking my friend Moz to borrow some cash because I feel like if a friend asks, hey, can I borrow some money to gamble with? You're never gonna see that money or that friend ever again. All Moz had was a fiver, which is Australian for five dollars. Five dollars? Buddy, you need an investment capital for gambling. Right? You need an investment capital for gambling. You're gonna be throwing bones, buddy. You gotta have you gotta have you gotta have some money ready for that shit. You're gonna be throwing a five? Yo, you're gonna be done in one bet. You're gonna be done in one Others. bet. So I only got one chip to gamble with. And I decided to spend that one chip on roulette. Because that's the only game I knew how to play. It's also the only game that would let you bet that little amount of money. Most casinos make you bet like 25 minimum blackjack, 10 roulette on like weekends. So you probably got lucky that you got a five. I know how to play blackjack. You but know, I know they, casinos make you gamble a lot. Like most people think, oh, I could just bet whatever the fuck I want. No, there's like bet minimums and max, but most people don't really bet max. There's a mathematical algorithm for the best, most perfect way to play. So I don't know how to play blackjack, you know? And poker is too intimidating. I can't deal with people hyperanalyzing my facial expressions to see if I'm bluffing. I already know I'm a bad liar. And the last time I actually played poker was with Luigi on my DS. Here's some honest strategy for the game roulette, okay? Sometimes a roulette table will have a T- Honest strategy for roulette, bet on the outside, never bet numbers. Bet either thirds, red, or black, even odd. You can do the, the you can do even these, the two to ones. Don't bet numbers. TV screen that gives you stats for hot numbers at the table. See, that's what I was just talking about. That shit's bullshit. Don't even look at it. Like it'll say, red 23's been popping. It's been hit 14 times today. Ignore those statistics. Every square at a roulette table has an equal chance of hitting regardless of whatever the previous numbers were. Facts. Just ignore those stats and always bet odd. So, with just one chip to my name, I was able to turn that- But he's telling us a whole damn story about how he bet five dollars. Single chip into two hundred Australian dollary dues. Oh yeah! Oh, I'm feeling it! Oh! The gambler's high! <sighs> I'm not sure about your investments, but a 4,000% profit is very good. I could have kept going, but I really wanted to rub my winnings in oh, the Oh, I would have kept going. Oh, I would have kept going. I would not have stopped. $5 to 200 Bitch, I'm getting to 1000 I'm getting to 1000 or I'm losing it all. I only had a $5 investment. I only have a $5 investment. All I can lose is $5. <laughs> I lose 200 Technically, yes, I lost $200, but realistically, I only invested five. So I don't actually, I only lost $5. As his face. I cashed out my chips, went back to the bar, and then slammed the two hundos on the table and said something cocky like, how about them cheeky buggers, mate? And Moz was like, did you just win those 200 wibbly wobbly dollary dues? Yeah, and yeah. then you throw that shit on red. Yeah, then you throw that shit on red. Then you fucking bet that shit on red, it hits. You got 400. Now you bet that shit on two thirds, it hits. Now you got 1,200. And then you mosey out on the casino, right? And on the off chance that it misses, you dive the roulette, you dive the roulette guy and you just start beating the shit out of him. You steal the chips and then you run out of the casino. Yeah, and it's all mine. And Maz went, Hey, you still owe me 200 Australian dollars for that other thing I did for you. Oh. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> See, now, now he goes, he puts it on black, he can pay his friend back, and now he has $200 as well. Guess I do do, I do owe you that. Then he scooped up my two Australian hundos that I was just rubbing in his face. It's an anomaly that my very first casino experience was so positive. It was like the devil himself was Yo, why is he butt-ass naked in every fucking one? You need to continue gambling. See? Gambling lets you pay off your debts. <laughs> Never stop. That, or I'm just really good at Australian roulette. This is probably how people get addicted to gambling, huh?
Casinos are designed to make you stay in them for as long as possible. There's yeah, no. They have no windows. That shit's nuts. He's literally about to say that. Casinos have no windows, no clocks. No windows, no clocks. Nowhere. And you're not supposed to be on your phone. I mean, you can go on your phone, but like, bro, they do not want you to know what time of day it is at all. No clocks or windows so you can't see how late it's getting. Chips are used so it doesn't feel like you're spending money. And there's supposedly free alcohol, but I guess they run out whenever I show up. But even knowing all the ways casinos manipulate you. Watching old people at casinos is really depressing. Like watching, watching a gambling addict bet their life away. Yeah, that's the worst. But watching like an old woman or an old man like bet their pension on fucking like penny slots is so sad. That video is TOS. Come on. I saw you type that like three times. This video is not TOS. Please stop. It's kind of fun just being inside a casino. All the lights, the old ladies at the slot machines smoking away. They're already. Did you know Vegas makes $17 billion a day? Yeah. Decaying lungs. They make a lot. The people crying in the bathroom because they have a gambling addiction. I don't think it's... they make $17 billion. No way they make $17 billion, though. How much does Vegas make a day? You're saying the city? Each casino makes $630,000 a day. That's each casino, though. How many casinos are in Vegas? 60. And some make more than others, probably. Yeah, no, 17 billion is cat. It's great. Hey, buddy. 17 billion a year. Don't worry, yeah. you're going to win next time. I'm sure of it. To counter the life-ending stressors, though, people will give the advice. You legit got banned for showing Tyron Woodley's ass. This guy is showing his ass. Is this guy a real person? Is this guy a cartoon figure with no genitals and is literally a stick figure that is not a human person? Go Momo for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you for the 10 gifteds, bro. Appreciate the fucking subs. Dub in the chat for Go Momo. I appreciate the fucking subs. Oh my God. Massive dub in the chat for that. Genuinely. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. I think I'm saying your name right. Go Momo happy. I don't know if I'm saying it. Thank them if you got a sub, but thank you for the 10 gifteds, bro. A little up for the sub, negative for the fringe bets. Been, on fr been friends with this person online for two years, started to drift away. We barely send messages uh, per two weeks, and I think we both know we should end the friendship. Just stop talking to them if you don't want to. If you want to end the friendship, I'm not the type of person to end friendships, nor do I know how. You could just stop talking to them. They're not your girlfriend. If if you're dating them, you have to give them a reasoning. If you're just online friends, just stop talking to them. James for the three. Me and my boyfriend love your streams. Can you please tell my boyfriend, Cole, I love you. I'm not telling your boyfriend that I love them because that's parasocial. I appreciate the um, support. What's up, Cole? Um, I love my viewers as a whole, but I do not love my viewers individually because that would be weird. Uh, Infinity for the 300 bets. Uh, go in any store, 7-Eleven, Vegas. You got slot machines, anything. There's not a se There's not slot machines in a 7-Eleven. Vin run for the fringe bets. It's more about the picture you show than the scratch-offs. What? Oh, the picture I show with the gambling? Jordan for the fringe bets. Uh, I already read that. And go Momo for the 10. Thank you for the 10 uh, gifted, bro. Ula for the sub. I think I said that one, too. All right. Uh, b -b 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 back to the bed. If you're going to gamble, have a set budget and just assume you're going to lose it all. But I couldn't even do that. Not the sticking to a budget part. I couldn't bring myself to gamble away my allotted budget. When I went to Vegas, I told myself I was only going to gamble $300. But after I lost $200, I thought to myself, yeah, I don't think this is a good investment anymore. One time I was on a slot machine and I got the five buffaloes in a row or whatever, and I got the chance to win a jackpot. There was a mini game on the slot machine where I had to flip over tiles that had either bronze, silver, or golden apples. And if I flipped over three golden apples, I'd win the golden jackpot. And if I flipped over three silver apples, I'd get the silver jackpot, and bronze apples gave the bronze jackpot, which was the lowest jackpot. The gold jackpot was $5,000. So I flipped- That's a pretty shitty jackpot for a slot machine. Bro, that, like, you could win, like, there's some slot machines that have jackpots that are, like, 45 grand. 
flip over the first tile and it's a golden apple. And I think, are you watching this because you're turning 21? No, somebody said it in the Discord. Whoa. Then I flip over another tile and it's another golden apple. And I would that's shit my pants. I would shit my pants. Bro, even even five grand, bro. Five grand's still a lot of money. Yeah, but for a jackpot, that's not as much as you would assume. Bro, I would shit my pants though. Two golden apples, huh? I got. If I get a brown apple, I'm punching the screen. If I get a brown apple, I'm punching the fucking screen. I'm breaking it. The feeling. Oh my god. <laughs> I might actually win five thousand dollars. Then I flip over three bronze apples in a row, winning the lowest jackpot. I don't even remember how much it was because I spent it all on the very same slot machine. And I immediately knew what happened. The game was dangling that golden jackpot right in front of my face, making me think I was one golden apple away from making- See, eventually... <laughs> Yo, and every time I show you guys this picture, I always, I always zoom in. In reality, boom. This meme is brought to you by Casino Association of Las Vegas. Because it's, it's the Game Brothers fallacy. It's assuming that you'll just make money if you keep gambling. Yeah, theoretically, you would eventually hit the jackpot. But realistically, when you hit the jackpot, you would still be in debt. For most scenarios. Some people get lucky, though. Big boy for the 340 bets. You're pretty lit, and all those who see is 10 times better looking than you. Your drip is still better. Thank you. SL for the five. Bit random, I wanted your advice on trying uh, to get over a girl if you have any ideas. Work on yourself. Uh, maybe search a new hobby. Go to the gym. Uh, practice stuff on yourself. Read a book. Uh, meet new friends. Just, like, there's a lot of things, right? Uh, Patrick for the three. Are you going to play Hogwarts Legacy? Would be fun seeing you kill students. <laughs> when does Hogwarts Legacy come out? Can my mods do a poll on whether or not you guys want me to play that? Because I might. Um, but I don't know. I don't know realistically if I'm going to. It's a maybe. Genuinely. I don't Because I don't really know. It's like a genuine maybe. All right. It big, even making me pick which tile to flip over so it would make me feel more in control. When the whole time the computer could just change Baconator for the sun was on the tile that I flip over because it's a computer, it can cheat, it's Schrodinger's jackpot. And before you think I just got really bad luck, that very day I was walking through the casino and I saw a guy. Isn't it a PS5 exclusive Hogwarts Legacy? No, I don't think so. No, Hogwarts Legacy is on Steam. Release date February 10th. No. Yo, chat, now that you've given it an hour and a half, do y'all fuck with the hair, yes or no? You should have kept it how it was. It's not even a haircut, buddy. It's not even a haircut. It's literally just how I styled it. If I really wanted to, I could just fucking move it back to how it was. Abby for the 300 bets. What are you about to do? Wait, what are you in about? I'm in Philly. What? What are you in app time in Philly and my 7-Elevens have slots and I'm as Levitown so yay the prob do have slots the S and ABYS as plural like a buy as Elmo. Tell Manny they're not safe I'm coming for the heart bucks no mouth. That last part was the only thing that made sense out of that down and I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, I know you're saying 7-Elevens have slot machines. The S and Abby's is plural. Yes, like Abby's Elmo. Yeah, I know, I know. They're playing on the same slot machine and he got to the- It looks good on you? Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know why y'all don't fuck with it. Like, yeah, I could literally go back to doing this shit where, like, I have it go to the side. But, like, even that, like, what about this? Bro, it's the same fucking thing. It's literally the same fucking thing. Y'all want me to just move it back to, like, the fucking swoosh. 
I like this, though. Like, I like this. Comparatively, I don't know. Uh, Alyssa for the sub. That looks better. Bro, I barely changed it. The same jackpot minigame. Brad Pitt cut or your old one. That's crazy, Werfel, though, how it's my life and my hair, and I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do, right? Stop to watch him, and the exact same thing... Yo, Wadzi, can you please stop spamming, bro? Can you please stop spamming? I, you didn't give bits. Oh, there it is. Do you think you will beat... I already read that. I didn't miss your bits. I, ne I did not miss your bits. Oh, you send them here. One of my short friends started complaining that about their legs hurting. I'm 6'3 and I'm 15. I told him to shut his 5'2 ass up. His legs could still hurt. It's just growing. It's when your growth points and everything move. His legs could still hurt. Alyssa for the sub. Uh, and thank you for the 300 bets, bro. I'm sorry I missed your bets. But you spammed, you missed my bets like a thousand times. Tell one of my mods and then they'll tell me, right? Rather than spamming. Uh, Alyssa for the 300 bets. Happened. He flipped over two golden apples and then three bronze ones. I don't know what the statistics are of that happening twice, but it's mighty coincidental. Why are we still gambling if the majority of people who gamble lose all their money? Because it's fun. It's a stupid way to spend your money, absolutely. But the rush, man. In Australia, there are- It's like getting high. Like, that's why people gamble. Because it's, it's literally something that they, people do for enjoyment, even if they lose. Multiple times where I could have lost all my money. And statistically, I should have. But whenever an odd number was hit, I couldn't help but throw my hands in the air and celebrate. I was hugging the dealer over winning $20. However, no matter how many times you win the jackpot, if you spend enough time in a casino, you will always lose. Ever hear the phrase, the house always wins? That's because they well, have- it's because the odds are in their favor, even if it's fractionally. The mathematical advantage and computer- Yes for the sub. Computers who cheat. And Alyssa for the forge bet. Gambling is not an investment. It's not a way to pay off your debts. It is entertainment. If done responsibly and in a social setting, gambling is absolutely fine to indulge in. And if you get upset that you lost all your money, what did you think was going to happen? So for this end card, I have decided to... That's what he looks like? Oh my god, I always wonder what the people uh, from the fucking animated YouTube videos look like. Gamble away a hundred real dollars, so... I am not watching that. Simply not watching the fake roulette spins. All right. Michael for the 300 bits. Just got my phone unlocked at 2 p.m. EST. Been on lockout mode since December 25th. Uh, and I sliding loss, lose any data because my phone apparently had a backup minutes before I lost access. Are you saying you did back it up or didn't? Waddle for this up now for the 300 bets. I always have my mom buy me scratch offs because I'm totally able to buy them. I am $340 in debt to my mom. Yikes. But he's in debt before he can even legally buy scratch offs. All right. Next video actually has to do with the casino. How much money can we launder in a day? There's a couple of things you should know about Australians. We love a good barbecue. We love having fun in the summer with all our mates. But as patriotic members of the Commonwealth, there's one thing we love above everything else. We love our queen. I'm not a strange lady. She made me nervous. She says, do you come from my and not many people what know this, but Australians are the biggest- Bro, he's kissing a casino machine. That shit must be so dirty. That shit must be so fucking dirty. Oh my god. Gamblers in the world. Our number one favorite way to lose- Not money. he's licking the button! Bro, so many people touch that, even if you wipe that shit down, bro. Is slot machines. We have 60 times more machines per person than any other country in the world. We love them so much that we give them cute little names. They're like, instead of calling it a poker machine, we call them pokies. And these cute little pokies hypnotize so many gambling addicted Australians and drive them to poverty and suicide. Oh, I fucking love watching these videos of these old people and slot tourneys. And while they make billions of dollars for the gambling bosses, they also have another superpower. Pokies are one of the main ways that criminals launder their money. You put dirty bills in the machine and you get brand new clean ones out of it. 
You know, it's super convenient, both for organized crime that's always looking for ways to clean their money and our giant unregulated gambling industry that's always looking to boost their insane profits by letting criminals use them. Damn, I never thought you could launder money through a fucking... Yo, do y'all know what money laundering is? I'm kind of, I'm kind of basing this off the fact that y'all know what money laundering is. Yo, how about this with the haircut though? Cause I kind of have it swooshed this way, but then it's also back that way. Now it's, now it's, now it looks better. Now I think it looks better. I got to style it like that. All right. Anyways, if you don't know what money laundering is, it's effectively when you have illegal ways of obtaining money, like selling drugs, um, as an example, they did it in Breaking Bad. Like, that's why he bought a car wash, right? When you illegally obtain money, that money's dirty. There's tracings on it, so you can't use it because it'll trace back to you. So what they need to do is get money in turn that is clean, that goes through a regulated business where they could actually claim that money and not be, you know, found. So people do that through car washes. Laundromats are, like, the top two. That's why they use them in, like, uh, TV shows. Uh, but apparently you could do it with casinos, too, which I didn't know about machines now the last time a youtuber pointed this out they were criminally pro somebody said bro spoiler the fifth and final season of breaking bad premiered july 15th of 2012. You have had 11 years to watch the movie or the show, okay? You had a decade, right? I gave you a decade. I spoiled the show. I'm sorry I spoiled a part of the show, right? It, the last season came out 11 years ago, right? The first season came out in what, like 2008? So the money laundering happens like season three, like bro. Prosecuted, threatened with prison, and their house was mysteriously firebombed. A fiery message that's hard to miss. This was a deliberate attack. It's the second time the property has been firebombed in a week. So, if anyone knows, simply fast forward. Turn this dirty money into clean money using these machines. But first, we're gonna have to find a professional who can teach us how to do it. Now this is Troy Stoles. If anyone knows how to launder money, it's him. He was hired by Clubs New South Wales, the giant lobby group for the gambling industry. Now his job was to inspect venues for money laundering and he's seen some pretty wild things in his time. The worst one I didn't tell you was, um, so I went to Reeves, they got control of boxes like a hard drive for your computer down in the dungeon. So I go down the dungeon and I stopped, double take, I said, why is there 70 chairs in this room? Some are new, some are just been Retuned and pulsed and ready to go. I love listening to Australian people speak. And the duty manager said to me, Troy, oh, we'll probably go. Dude, their accent. Somebody said this is so boring. I'll chatter, leave. JCW for the 300 bets. My dog just ran into a wall because he has a shirt on his head. Stack for the 300 bets. Through 20 or 30 of them tonight because they soil the seats while oh. they're playing the pokies. No. Staff are going to clone them up. And what, then they just say, bring me a new chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they keep playing. But they keep playing. They've done their business on the stool. They just keep playing. <laughs> Wait, they shit on the chairs? <laughs> so now, apart from the poo chairs, he also discovered that 95% of clubs were willingly letting money laundering happen. But for some reason, his bosses didn't want to hear about it. I'd been rattling on about it for about five years. Um, very soon. Because they don't give a fuck. I'm not going to watch this whole video, by the way. I just wanted to see parts of it. Um, I want to actually get to where they try it. you haven't sold the ice early. To yeah, that's true. I feel like it's degenerative to film yourself gambling at a... ...the crime first. It made it an interesting video and then done the boring stuff. Alex stepped in thinking he had a better strategy to speed things up. Oh, that's a fast system. Oh, the technique. Now, eventually he got bored too. How much money are they putting in the machine? What the fuck? Isn't it amazing how quickly you get immune to just chucking in thousands of dollars? You're just like, come on, hurry up. I'm this bored. is a lot of money. Oh, I think they're not even going to gamble it. I think they're going to put it in and then immediately 
uh, take it back out. Imagine being Mr. Beast and filming. And it will be different bells. Oh, yeah. I put a million dollars in a poke. Troy wanted us to put his membership card in so he could collect loyalty points from all the money we're stuffing into this machine. You know, with enough points, he could get some free stuff. Oh, <gasps> we could scan the system. Get a free toaster. Yeah, I might get a toaster. Sure. Yeah. A you free just... toaster? Take our money. Yeah, money. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, in order to combat money laundering, these machines are limited to $5,000. So we thought we'd let Troy put in the final bill. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah you yeah. put this one in. Please. Um, that's a 50. Do the honors. Give it a kiss for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it turns Are they going to gamble all of the money? Or are they going to fucking just take it back out? There's no limit. So it's back to work for us. We, we've been doing this for about half an hour and no one has come to stop us. I'm so tiring. So you're just crowding around watching someone just anything. Because... Another one. Oh, what? Stop doing this. You're getting <laughs> He's a dick. Yo, what the fuck? Credit. 748,000. Bro, I know that's not a dollar. I'm pretty sure their bets are pennies. But, like, fuck. What? <laughs> Is that enough? You can have. No, no, no come on, another one. Oh, what? Stop doing this. <laughs> You're getting Bro, they bet one penny. How long would that take to bet all of that shit? <laughs> oh. You would sit that... there for years. That mean? Apparently nothing. Okay, right, should we take it out? Yeah, this is boring. Yeah, I feel like putting the money in was more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Take win. That should, um, the card might be upside Oh, credit zero. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Wait, so what if it's gone? At least we've got video proof that we put all the <laughs> notes in. This is terrifying. 7, if I lost my fucking money in a slap, bro. Look, we put that in. We put. It yep. won't give it to them. Seventh. So how do we get the money onto this card? Did you check out by any chance the members card by any chance or no? Oh, well, maybe it's on Troy's one. Ah, okay. So you must have on been that one. It must be on the members card. Is it on that card? So it's on your card now. So to take it out, we need you at the counter. So um, if I was to run fast. I got a good day's takings on yeah. After that quick scare, the process wasn't too hard. The only issue is the maximum you can take out in cash is $5,000 and the rest has to be on a check. And since it was on- A tr check? Oh my God. If I won, if I won more than 5K at a casino and they refused to give me that shit in cash, I'd be like, bro, you're going to be, you're about to hand me a check. Uh, yo, cause that's like the perk of that shit. You went 50 grand at a casino. You get like a fucking thick ass fucking bag of money. That shit would be insane. Troy's card, the check has to be in his name, but we got our money cleaned in the end. So, do I need to order another one through here? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. All right, whatever. I'm going next video. Uh, CXZ for the, the 500 biddies, not out loud. Uh, no problem. Thank you for the 500 biddies. It's here for the sub, uh, and I'm sorry that you've been uh, uh, going through that CXZ. Uh, Carson for the 300 bets. I just got a 2018 Jeep Wrangler for my first car. Any upgrades that I should get? Uh, I don't really know. It's up to you. There's a lot of shit you can do with Jeep Wranglers. Uh, B-Mitch for the sub, just for the sub, stacks for the 300 bets. Uh, all right. Next video. The worst thing you could do if you're late to school. Have we ever watched a police video before, chat? I don't know. April 29th, 2022. Vernon County Sheriff's Office received several... There's TikTok clips of this uh, recently. I wanted to find the whole video. Uh, so we're going to watch it. I'm going to fast forward to where they actually pull her over, though. Central. You'll see. You might recognize it. Upon approaching the vehicle, he noticed the driver holding their license out the window. The driver was identified as 35-year-old Amanda McCaig. Turn the car off and step out right now. Turn the car off and step out. Why? Ooh, already, already giving him a bad look. You get pulled over by a cop, you gotta be looking spiffy, right? You gotta be. Good morning, officer. How how fast was I going? A hundred and twenty and a forty-five. Who? I didn't know that. Really? That's illegal. I'm not allowed to go. I'm not allowed to go 65 miles an hour over the speed limit. Whew. Who would have guessed it? <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. Why? Step out of the car. Who are you? I think it, to to preface this, she was going 106 miles an hour. 
Step out of the car. 146. Step out of the car. No, she was not going 146 in that. I think she was going 106. Yeah, going 106 miles per hour. Jesus. Probably in like a 50. They're on like a rural, ro rural road. Not like 106 on a highway. She's going 106 on like a 40. Right now, get out of the car. Dude, that's illegal. No, you would get arrested for that. If you're going over 25 over the speed limit on a non-highway, you're almost guaranteed getting arrested. If you're going like 90 and a 30, yeah, you're, you're, you're probably getting arrested. What, you have a fob or what? She uh -huh. is way too damn close to the fucking steering wheel. I'm trying to comply. You're trying to what? I'm trying to comply with you. What, you're, <laughs> you're not, though. You're just sitting there. I'm trying to comply, officer. Making him turn off the car? Are you calling her fat? No. I said she's too close to the steering wheel. She could back up the chair. Compliance is going to be getting out of the car. I'm not going to get out of this car. Okay, you are under arrest. Are you being fat phobic? No. What? What? For a reckless. So, somebody said, well, oh, God. I'm not, yo, now, my chat's, now my chat's on dickhead energy. Carson for the 300 bets. The felony crime. Oh but she's saying she's trying to comply. Meanwhile, the officer's literally turning off the car for her, and she's fucking, she's already just being a dick. Come out of the car. Who am I endangering? Who am I endangering? Everyone. You're going 106 miles an hour in a fucking in a neighborhood area. Who am I endangering? Please explain that to me. Step out of the car. Please explain to me who I'm endangering. Step out of the car. Please explain to me who I'm endangering. Yo, this really like upsets me in like how little like people understand anything. Like she like genuinely is like, okay, if I just argue with this cop and say I didn't hurt anybody, he'll let me go. Like, you were going 65 miles an hour over the speed limit. You're taking me to jail right now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So do you have Still, you're taking me to jail? Yes, ma'am. Proceeds to not get out of the car. <laughs> I'm just trying to comply, officer. Identification with you? I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you said. Catch what I you just said. told you his name. What's his name? Anthony Lucas, and he does not have an engagement. And you're not going to arrest him. Well, no shit, she's not. No shit, he's not going to arrest him. He's not the one driving, dumbass. <laughs> you're not you're being in the. Yo, you're fucking stupid as shit. Yo, he, oh, there's no scenario where he would get arrested. He's not the one behind the wheel. My danger. Where are you coming from today? What? My house? Trying to school. School? 146 right now. 146, go ahead, head. Yo, she definitely just hit a fucking blinky. Look at her goddamn eye. Bro, she's like... Trying to stay awake. Or drunk. One of the fucking two. No way. Driver's last name is McCaig. I'm C-K-A-I-G. I'm Mary C. Charles K. King A. Adam. What's a blinky? Hitting a car really hard. Energy, George. First of all, so take a second to school, please. You're, I really don't have time for this. Um, officer, uh, I'm just gonna drive away. That was mature, wasn't it? I'm single white man, I'm single officers. I don't have time. For this. I really don't. I'm trying to go to school, I'm trying to go to work. I'm sick not of white men, I'm sick of officers. You're white. I'm going to your jail. I just what? Want... <laughs> what? The ticket, please. please. I'm sick of white men. I know I went 65 miles an hour over the speed limit, but mm, I'm sick of you. So please give me my license back and just give me a warning. You're done. I'm pretty sure if you go over 15 over the speed limit, you have to appear in court. So her going that much over the speed limit, you're definitely getting arrested. When you get out of the car and hand me your keys, we can move forward. I don't have keys. 
You, have you a... don't have keys? How did your car start? I'm being a dick. I'm being, I'm on my dickhead energy. I'm already, I'm already, yo, I'm already fucking, I'm already gaslighting her. Oh, I'm fucking pissed now. Oh, you don't have your keys? Yo, now you're trying to piss me the fuck off. Get out of the car. Like, now, nah, literally get out of the fucking car. I'm about to tell her five more times at that point. Oh, I'm strong. I'm about to make a goddamn scene. Fob. I don't. You have something that operates. How did you, how did you drive the car? I don't have keys. Oh, my fucking asshole. You don't have keys. Vehicle. Yeah, I do. You're right. Okay. Um, actually, it's a push to start. Mm. When you get out of the vehicle, we can move I forward. I don't have it on me. When you get out of the Then grab the keys. How, 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 if your keys aren't in the car, your car is not going to drive. The vehicle, we can move forward. While he waited for assisting officers, Amanda quickly... Yo, and he's doing this shit perfectly, too. Turn the car back on and put it in drive, pushing hard on the accelerator. Immediately arresting her. Immediately ripping her out of the car, bro. Oh my God, that's trying to get away. You just tried You just tried to evade a police officer. Good shit. You just went 106 and you ran from a police officer. Literally putting that bitch in park, fucking throwing you out of the damn car. Oh, it's over. Here. Shooting the tires. Yo, the second. Yo, actually. No, that's the better play. Second she, second she puts that bitch in fucking drive, I just shoot her tires. I, while, she's, while she's on the brake, I just, all right, have fun driving away. I'm gonna stand here till you do. She's like, she's acting like this is like a waiting game, and the officer's just gonna let her go, cause he gets bored. Like, no. That's a vi That's so illegal. You're getting ripped out of the car. Good fucking shit. Good fucking shit. You're getting ripped out of the car. You're trying to run away from a police officer. Bravo. I thought you didn't have keys, dumbass. Get out of the fucking car. Yep, rip her out. Yep, unbuckle that motherfucker. Yep. Buddy has not moved this entire time. Ouch. God. 146, 1033, 1033. Oh, I'm getting back up. Oh, I'm getting back up. I'm saying somebody else come. Help? Yes, officer. You don't. Can you copy? Did you get off me? Please. Get off no, you no. This this would have been unallowed if he had just pulled you over. But you turn the car back on and put it in drive. You saying, officer, please. No. Now you're getting ripped out of the car because you were trying to evade a police officer. <laughs> you're, you're, he's, he's not hurting you. He's allowed to take you out of the vehicle. You, you refused to get out after he asked you eight times, and then you tried to drive away. I'm get on the ground. With you. I'm not kidding. Get I'm on the ground. ground. I'm complying with you. <laughs> While she did it, bro, he has a body cam. It works for both ways. Body cams work when police officers are dickheads, and they work when they're not. You're breaking the law. He done. He did nothing wrong. As he attempted to take her into custody, a bystander assisted in handcuffing her. That is hilarious. Yeah. Um, unlock my or unlock my doors. From Bro said, "Do you need help?" She's gone. The driver door. Go to the passenger side. I have a pair of handcuffs down in the. That's the fakest cry ever. I'm not. On my belt on the floor. I'm not fighting you. Bro, you are in no condition to go to class. You look hot. You, bro, you got to be on something. But he's got the new balances on too. Yeah. Are those ASICs? <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. Thank you, sir. Can you get my radio out of the street there so it doesn't get run over? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yo, yo this bystander deadass could have just stole the cop car. <laughs> Officer, do you need help? Yes, I would love help. Could you go into the back car? He, gets, he just gets in the car and drives away. Put your other arm behind your back. Put your other arm behind your back. Here. I'll take that other side. Thank you. Name the double cough. 
Are you doing it? Do you feel better now cuffing me, officer? Thank you very much. Do you feel better now cuffing me? Yes, you were trying to evade me. Appreciate that. Bro, I could never be a cop. I could never be a cop, bro. I would be so stressed out. I would be so stressed out all the time. Holy shit. Because, like, it, it's just, oh, Like, there's so many shitty cops. Like, recently, what, what city was that in where all those cops beat that guy to death? Like, those are shitty fucking cops, right? Like, those are dickheads. But, like, this, like, this cop is literally just trying to do his job, and she's just trying to pin it on him. Memphis, yeah. Bro, like that, like that shit's nuts. Like that's a whole different scenario. But this, bro, like this guy's just trying to do his fucking job. He was literally being nice too, and then she's just being a dick. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just stay on the ground. It was terrible watching that video. Oh, I know. That video was insane, dude. That guy, he wasn't even moving. They were holding him. If you haven't seen that shit in Memphis, they were holding him. There's four cops. They're holding the guy. Like, he's not even moving. And they're beating him. Yeah, Nichols. Yeah, Tyree Nichols. Bro, he went to your school? Really? How old was he? It actually made me so mad. Yeah, no, that shit pissed me off. Bro, th I, did they all get fired? Manny for the sub. Carson for the for three, uh, 300 bets. Now, nah, that shit's nuts. Stay on the ground. They're going to prison? Yeah. I mean, I like so there was two of them. There was two of them that were just kind of standing there. But like, even though they were just standing there, like, bro, you see a fellow police officer beating someone when they're not even moving, they're unconscious. Like, you're not gonna be like, uh, what the fuck are you doing? You can uh, slow down back up for 1095. Yeah. 181 and 22 copy. Those are the smartest people. Officer? 181 here. Hey, officer. Whatever your name is. You know raccoons are the smartest people? What did she say? Officer. Whatever your name is. You know raccoons are the smartest people? Bro, Werfel. No damn way Werfel just read my mind. I was thinking of popping a Jeep. I was dead ass this I was dead ass thinking of popping a Jeep right now. No way. She said raccoons are the smartest people. What does that even mean? She's trying to be smart, but what do you mean she's trying to be smart? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, what is she saying? Carson for the 300 bits. You ever smoked weed? If not, you know a lot about it. Kind of sus. I'm getting, I'm getting invested in Coon Valley. All I asked was if I'll need 20 here. I won't need 181. Hope you f die. Did she say, I hope you die? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. Like, see, like, they got to stay calm. Oh, fuck. Nah, I'm getting pissed. Does that go on my arm? Oh, more shit. Go ahead. Search me. Go ahead. Look at that. I hope we're doing everything to the team. Okay. Anthony! Call twin! You know we got killed low. You hear me? While the chief spoke with the, the kid did nothing wrong. You're being an idiot. Messenger. Amanda interfered and made threats toward him. You have an identification. She was being racist. But why? Like it was out of nowhere when she was saying that thing about raccoons. She was being racist. Why? Like, what? Like, I don't even understand the implication. Like, it had nothing to even do with what the fuck was going on. You hear me, officer? Do you hear me? She said Sea Valley. What is Sea Valley? Officer. Thank you. But he's got his Amazon package in the police van. Why does she keep bringing that up? What is she trying to say? There's a book in my car. It says Kulik Rincons are the smartest people. 
There's a book in her car? What's going well, on? I, tell you, I, know, I know the racial slur you're talking about, but I think she's just... I don't think she's being racist. I have no idea what she's trying to do. Kennedy, are you her brother? Kind of, Why yeah. is she talking about a book? Is she upset about something? Mental health thing. You, you or her, or both of you? Uh, her man. Okay. She's recognizing that she needs some mental help? Yes. Okay. She said she was going to go Saturday. She's been off her meds for two months. She's been off her meds for two months? Yeah. Okay, I appreciate uh -huh. that. I'll give this back to you. Are there any... Uh, duffel bag. Appreciate that. Once she was placed in the back seat, she started ripping tape off a box. Trying to see what's in the Amazon package. Is she about to use her mouth? Nah, why does she want to know? Why does she want to know what's in the box? This is just weird. Like, why is she opening this man's package? Isn't that also illegal? Now she's just racking up crimes. Am I wrong? She, she got pulled over for speeding. She was going to only get arrested for that. Then she tried to run away from a police officer, so that's another crime. Now she's opening his package. Why does a cop have a package, though? I don't know. He's not, a, he's not not allowed to have a package. They use the cars. He could have a pa He could have just picked up a package. Why are you opening my box? That's what I'm saying. The fuck you doing opening my Amazon package? What are you arresting me with, officer? Reckless endangerment. Okay. Can you take it from the Make it the way you guys do. 106 miles an hour. Oh, uh, well, the dude that helped him was just working on this pole. Uh, I thought there was a thing. She was passing cars. They're in left, Wisconsin. Left and right in Westby. Can I get the ticket and go now? <laughs> Can like I get the ticket and go now? <laughs> You're in handcuffs in the back of a car. You're not getting. What do you, you do? You think this is how they routinely give people tickets? They they handcuff them and it's a struggle, and then they give you a ticket and you leave. No, they they would just give you the ticket. I get out of here. Oh my Officer. god. Officer. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you to do your job. How do I, I, I would have said, I would have said, bitch, I did my job. You're in handcuffs in the back of my car. Get out. Can you take it so I can leave? Please? Sir, you're holding me up. I'm trying to. Yo, you know what I would hit her with that? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Yo, she's like, officer, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> she just keeps saying shit, uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, really? <laughs> to school. And you're arresting me for no reason. Are you diagnosed with any mental health disorder? I don't know. I don't know. Are you supposed to be taking any medications? I don't know. You do know because your buddy over there said that you have to. She came in at 106 miles an hour. She's going to school. Huh? She's going to school. She's late. Yeah, apparently. See? Apparently. Yo, but she's 35. So that means she would be late for a college class if she's not lying. Do you know how many motherfuckers are late to college class? Everyone shows up late to college class. No one shows up on time to college class. That is not that is not a new thing, right? Like y you don't need to go 106 to make it on time. You could just pull up 5 minutes late. They're not going to be bugging. Um Now, like I'll pull up on time, but I'll pull up dead ass. Like say class starts at like 10:30, I pull up at 10:30. Like, I walk in exactly at 10.30. Every time. Every, 10.31. 10.32. There's kids that show up 20 minutes late every day. When I got her out of the car, he 
decided to tell me that she was going to go get some mental health help. Oh. Um, she's been off her meds for two, two months. So I managed to, she was going to take off on me again when I was standing in the open door. Oh, for real? She turned, turned the car back on and put it in gear. She wouldn't give me the key fob. So I got on her lap and <laughs> took over the car and out she came. Uh, Whatever works. She's in the back? She's arrested in the back. Oh my god, I used to live in this town. No fucking way. No fucking way Filth used to live in this fucking town. What's that? Bro used to live in Bodunk Nowhere, fucking Miss Wisconsin with this lady. Charge her with reckless endangerment. I worked in this town, bro. It's a felony, right? Yeah. Off to jail, she's going. This guy drive, he can't drive. He's got an instruction only. So if you could figure out if he's got somebody that can <clears throat> come pick him up or something from... Is she under the influence or anything? Anthony? I don't know. Her right eye is... Yeah, Anthony. Yep. Her right eye is all messed up. But uh, bloodshot and everything. But she isn't talking like she's clearly drunk or anything like that. Or... Did you talk to the reporter yet? Or... No. Yo, this town looks so boring. Oh, my God. Like, I... Yo, this... T like, yo, the mountains look nice. Like, holy fuck. Like, this looks like, this looks like a goddamn liminal space, dude. Like, some shit where I'm like, fuck. Like, no one lives here. No, I just, uh, I didn't have my... It eight. has 300 people in the whole town? Yeah, this is literally the city church. And then there's just houses. Duty belt on, so I think this guy got in my squad and got me my handcuffs, because I had her on the ground in the, in the street. <laughs> I was like, I was just going to reach over. I was like... Carson for the three bits. What college do you go to? I don't really talk about that because people get weird. Some people know. You know, you know. It's whatever. But I don't actively talk about it because people get creepy. Doctor for the sub. Glad for the three bits. My friends have said that Tyree Nichols uh, cut his hair before. What does that have to do with anything? What do you mean? What if I have to arrest this? <laughs> so I was just going to reach over to my duty belt. Watch something else, Joe. Nah, I'm trying to see this. I want to see when she talks because that shit's fucking hilarious. All right, where is she? Oh, yeah, here it is. <clears throat> so that you're Does she even have a shirt on? Like, it looks like she only has a sweatshirt on. Don't tighten up on you on the way down. I'd like you to uh, you step out of the, to the jail. Which one? Vernon County. Vernon County? Yeah. Why? Uh, because you're under arrest for a felony offense. So can you take it? Let me go? Yo, she's dumb as fuck. I'm like, I'm actually getting pissed now. She just said, I'm under arrest? Yeah. What jail? Something county. Why? He said, okay, so you're going to give me a ticket and I can go? Why? No, because you're under arrest for a felony offense. So can you give me a ticket? Let me go? You're taking um, me you're under arrest for a felony offense. Can you just give me a ticket? I, I explained that. So, but I, explain it very well. um, I need to. I'm actually in college for communication studies. So, Officer, I think you're going to want to let me go here because I'm probably going to be a lawyer soon enough. Um, officer, I'm actually here for communication studies, but I'm thinking about switching into a law-based track so I could go down the uh, lawyer agreement. So I think you're going to want to pull. I think you're going to want to, you know, take these handcuffs off. I need to keep those handcuffs from, sque from squeezing down on your wrist, so I would like to check them for fit and lock them. Okay. Didn't you do it right the first Have you ever heard of Freedom Officer? Mm, I'm allowed to go 106 miles an hour if I want to go 106. I did it right. I just well, didn't get them. I just didn't get them. I didn't get them double locked. That's what you did. <clears throat> I don't um, know where that. It's constricting. Okay. Well, it's the it's law. It's a fucking seatbelt. It's a fucking seatbelt. It's constricting. It's a fucking seatbelt. And it's gonna happen in my squad car. Okay, officer. It's your choice. Got a fill? Yep. How do I get out of your jail? Um, How do I get out of your jail? Uh, well, it's going to be a process. That'll be up to the judge. What judge? Darcy Rood. <laughs> or her commissioner. Okay, let me talk to you. Darcy Rood? All that fucking... Ugh, all that fucking bitch. Oh, she, oh, not, not Darcy Rood. No, you can't do this to me, officer. I've been in this predicament three years now. Oh, my God. I've been arrested three times for this exact predicament. Darcy does not like me, officer. You got to let me go. Oh, not Darcy. Please give me Hank. Hank's better. Hank's light on me. Last time, last time, last time Hank gave me probation. Darcy threw me in the pen, man. I can't, I can't be going with Darcy. Um, no. 
Put your foot in. Put your foot in. Yeah, let me talk to my little brother. Um, no. Oh, well, look at her fucking eye. Ugh. Why? He's 23 years old and he can take care of himself. He should be able to. Go ahead and put but your foot in. But he's probably really scared in this Coon Valley town. He told me last time he was. Why would he be scared? Because it's Coon Valley and he's a black guy. Um, I, I don't think he's... I didn't think he should, I'd be scared. You just arrested me in front of him. Um, go ahead and put your feet back no. in the car. <clears throat> Let me talk to him. <clears throat> you're leaving him here by himself. Yo, this is what I'm going to say, though, right? Like, if you're really, yo, like, her logic makes no sense, right? She's terrified of this city. You can't let him leave him by himself. Oh, this is so bad. Why did you go 106 then, right? Like, one of the worst cities in New Jersey is Camden, right? Like, there's a lot of drugs. There's a lot of, like, shit that goes down. Prostitution, like, murder. There's gangs, shit like that, right? Like, that would be, like, me going 100 miles an hour in Center City, Camden, and then getting pulled over and being like, Officer, you can't leave me here. Officer, you can't leave me here. This is going to be, Officer, Officer, if you... Officer, I, oh my, like, like, why did you, why did you break the law then? Like, what, like, why did you, why did you go, why, you're terrified of this city. What? Actually, I'm not. I'm calling a tow truck so he can go with the tow or not. Why don't you just let me talk to him? Um, can you get a, why are you towing my no, car? It's towing the way. Why are you towing my car? There's no reason to tow my car. He can turn it on right now and drive it. He can't drive. Yes, he can. No. Yeah, he can. Not legally. Bro just, bro, bro just hit him with the. He can't drive the car legally. He doesn't have a license. Like what? Put your foot in the car. Let me talk to him. <clears throat> Let me talk to him. Let me. I got it. God. Yeah. Why are you in my car? <laughs> nah. God. Why are you in my car? Bro, the low you quality just, tell just me makes where the it so much more funny. Are in the car since the dog told us that they're in there? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Okay. Would you mind just turning your pockets? No, he seems like a nice guy. Inside out for me just to demonstrate to me that you don't have any drugs on you right now. There's the fob. Okay. There's two fobs? Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything on me. I don't do anything. Okay. You don't use any drugs? No. Does Amanda use any drugs? Uh... Sometimes? Covering addict. Okay. What's your drug of choice? Heroin, meth, or something else? Uh, cocaine. Cocaine? Okay. Okay. Fishy. Mm, the little nose beers. Mmm, the little nose beers, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> What's that? If you do find anything, it is not mine. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Amanda, well, you I feel bad for the guy. I feel bad for this guy, bro. Like he, like, like he was literally just along for the ride. Like, imagine you're with somebody and they get pulled over for this, and you're just sitting there, like, bro, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> like, I'd be like, bro, can I leave? Like, damn. Right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present with you with prior to any questioning if you wish. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney. I was waiting for the Miranda rights. I was I was literally about to say, I was like, he hasn't said shit like he hasn't said that shit yet. You have the right to have the court appoint you on free of charge prior to any questioning if you wish. If you want to answer any questions for me at this time, you may stop answering at any time. Do you understand those rights? Yes. Okay. What if you say no? Do they just have to repeat them? No, I don't understand my Miranda rights. All right, well, I'm going to say him again. And <laughs> he just keeps doing it. You want to tell us where the drugs are in the car? There's no drugs. Okay. Nice try, though. Were there any in the past at all? I have no idea. Because the dog certainly says that there are. If the dog says there's drugs, I'm going to go ahead and try to find them. I have nothing. I have no. There's no drugs that I know of in that car. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't he, he just opens up the trunk and there's just a pound of fucking cocaine. Yeah. The car's already been searched by state patrol. When? Um, about a week ago. Okay. I got it back from Yeah, you could put drugs within a week. Stones. They had it impounded illegally. Mm, your little brother over here told me you're into nose beers. <laughs> your your little brother over here told me you're fond of nose beers. So I'm gonna be searching the car. Okay. So 
to my knowledge, there's no drugs in that car. The only thing that's drugs in that car is prescribed drugs to me. Okay. Um, I mean, oh, cocaine's, cocaine is prescribed? Taking your medication? What? I haven't heard Have of you that yet. When did that, when did that come out? And taking your medication? I'm taking what's prescribed. Why, why are you driving 106 to get to school? I woke up late. You're late? I woke up late. Okay. Did it seem at all dangerous? Why are you bringing your little brother? The no. speed you were traveling, passing cars left and right in West Street? No, I was being safe. See, what she's saying makes no sense. I don't even think she's going to school, bro. Like, what? She might cooperate if you want to adjust her cuffs now. No, 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 put your arm back. It hurts! I know, I'm Ow! doing it. I'm a jet Put your right hand back behind your back so that it won't pull on the handcuff for your left hand. Why do I need to be cuffed? Don't worry, because I'm in the back of your car. I'm blind with everything you're saying. The yellow will slide. Do you have your two fingers? Oh, United. Okay, don't Oh, God. Oh, God. We almost saw... Oh, God. I'm going to fast forward there. Ugh, that was almost... Well, they're not hurting on my skin because my wrist that hurt. There it is. Oh, that was almost that was almost a mooning. Loosen them as much as we can. No, you can't. You can read them. Oh as God, as not again! It's almost there. I'm fast forwarding. I'm fast forwarding. Okay, we're good. I'm sorry. Who would that have been? Mm -hmm. Mississippi and Jess. Mississippi and Jess. Mm -hmm. Who's Mississippi? It's the only name I know him by. Okay. Hi there. <clears throat> I need some medical attention. These nice officers threw me to the ground. Hi. Yo, how do these how do these get uploaded to YouTube? You know what I mean? Like, how do they get uploaded to YouTube? Cause this is like state like police cameras. So how does it eventually end up like like how is this guy uploading this? Is it just like public thing? It's like public shit. They release they have to release the footage. Oh, that's uh, I was gonna wonder. I, I was gonna ask that. I was gonna say how do the how the fuck do they know that? Most arrest body cams get uploaded uh to the news. Okay. Uh, and then I'm assuming you just pull those files and people upload them on YouTube. Manifest for the sub. Oh my god. Seven months in a row, eight total. Bro, I feel like Manifest has been here way longer than eight months. Bro, how long have you been following me, Manifest? Manifest been following since November 26th of 20... Oh, wait, no, that's account creation. December 27th of 2021. Okay, so you have been following a year. All right. Next video. Yo, should we watch more of those in the future, chat? I love watching those fucking videos. That's what you guys got to send more of those. The fucking arrests. Dude, I love watching those. When people get pulled over for, like, speeding, and then it just unfolds to, like, the dumbest shit ever. Y'all got to send more of those in the Discord. Like, somebody... I didn't even, I, none of y'all even sent that one. I saw a TikTok clip of it and I was like, what? I sent it to my mods. I was like, somebody find the full video of this because it's fucking hilarious. All right. I got to go use the bathroom real quick and then we're on to the next vid. What fucking song do I want to play? Huh. We're gonna play. Video. I tried to join the Illuminati. Alley for the fucking sub. The Illuminati is re- Jesus, that's fucking loud. Hold up.
The Illuminati is real. I mean, you can go to their website. So I did, and I contacted them to join. Hopefully they respond. They did respond. There are like 100,000 people in this cult, whatever this is. And I just signed the contract they sent me, so apparently now I'm one of them. Which is- Nah, that literally looks like a money scam. That is not no damn contract. That looks straight out of the- <laughs> Out of the the beginning of the United States, bro. That looks like the Declaration of Independence. I'm one of them. That which is, is not a contract. Exciting. Hopefully I come back from this live. <laughs> okay, I entered my phone number into the contact form a few days ago, and I just got a text from them on WhatsApp. 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 What's that about Illuminati fraternity? The Illuminati is a secret society that strives to promote secret <laughs> Would y'all join the Illuminati? If you, if you somehow could, would you? Ethan for the five hundred bets. The real Illuminati, right? Like the the conspiracy theory Illuminati, not that dumb shit where it's like like, like this looks fake. Even though this is the official website. When the Illuminati fraternity, you must have to be an initiate. The Illuminati does not practice human killing or sacrifice, contrary to what many people thought. Its main goal is love, unity, and freedom. Its main goal is love, unity, and freedom to realize dreams faster. That does not seem like the Illuminati I know of. Okay, sounds like a plan. This is clearly like a copy and paste to every new member, though. I want to actually talk to him. Okay. Come on, what are we even doing here? Is this even a real person? Can I call you on the phone? Wait, they call them the Grand Master? Isn't that what they call? Isn't that what they call the leader of the KKK? Wait, no, that's the Grand Wizard. To discuss this? That's the Grand Wizard. There will be a time for calls. We shall like to know pretty well about yourself. So tell me, what is your occupation? Marital status? Parental status? How much is your monthly income? Yeah, I'm simply never telling some dickhead on fucking WhatsApp uh, all of this info about me that wants me to join the Illuminati. But he's about to say, what's your social security number? But Luckily, I gave him the information. I mean, most of it's public knowledge anyway, right? I mean, we gotta move further in this conversation to learn more, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I grew up what many people would consider a cult. It's called fundamentalist Mormonism. I grew up with one dad, four moms, and I have 44 siblings. That's 44 siblings?! Huh. Huh. It's Calvin Wayman. He's an ex-member of the cult from this Netflix documentary. He'll be helping guide me through the world of the Illuminati because he's got some experience himself with this stuff. The reason something like this works and the reason my religion slash cult worked is because of the potential reward. You're gonna get all the secrets. For me, like, join, you're gonna become a god someday. Who doesn't want to learn the secrets of the world? Who doesn't want to stop being broke and be on the inside track? Like a toxic relationship, a lot of times you don't realize how toxic it is until you leave. According to the most recent message from the Grand Master, 85% of all billionaires are in the Illuminati and most Cap, cap, cap. Next, yo, next he's about to say, you got to pay a monthly subscription fee. He's about to hit him with that. Yo, by the way, yo, by the way, it's a monthly subscription fee of $32 to join the Illuminati. Waiting on that one. 11 snipes for the sub, Ethan for the sub. Uh, Kate for the forge bets. I don't have Discord. You should watch Meth Addict Steals Domino's Delivery Car in under a minute. It's the funniest thing ever. Oh. Normally, I don't Normally, I don't look up videos that chatters tell me to look up, and I tell them to go to the Discord tab, but that is a very that is a very appealing title. Meth Addict Steals Domino Delivery Car. I really want to see that. I really want to see that, and it's a nine-minute video. There's no way. That looks fucking hilarious. Para, paradox for the 300 bits. I sent the link to the traffic stop video. Uh... In, from the same creator, it happened to my mom, or it happened in my town. Stolen Legos leads to bomb found. Bro, I gotta watch more of these videos. We definitely will. But this is the last one we're gonna watch today. Well, yo, fuck. Ugh. Can we finish this real quick, and then we'll go to this one. We'll finish this real quick.
most of the mega famous stars. I don't want to get off topic because then we won't be back onto this for 35 minutes. Or is He's giving me some peer pressure. He also sent me 12 rules, including don't complain, don't harm children, and most of Do not harm little children for the are the rulers of tomorrow. If you mistype the fucking rules, yo, yo, you have bad grammar in the rule set on the official fucking Illumina, bro. Important to recruit new members. <laughs> So are you ready to follow these rules governing the Illuminati society? Bro, let me read. Most important, you must bring more people here once you gain... Once. You must bring more people here once you gain membership. Bringing people as in telling them about the Illuminati for this is the main ideology and desires of this family. Bro, this is literally a scam. This is literally a scam. It's literally just, it's just a fucking pyramid scheme. The, he's going to pay to enter, and then he has to bring more people to enter, which is also going to fucking give them more money. Sure. Yes, one day. Yes, I think so. This is a new kind of cult, though, because it's all online. Calvin was born into a system his parents joined, but this one finds people through the internet. It seems less manipulative than something in real life, because you don't have actual people that- No, it seems more manipulative. It seems more pyramid schemey. You, ...if you don't do what they say, but it allows this cult to reach way more people. Bro, 111k followers? Yo, Illuminati's gotta get their fucking Twitter game up. Meaning. Also, I got another text from the Grandmaster. Can I ask you a question, though? What are you doing with this information? I just want to have a chat about the Illuminati's goals. That's all. I'm happy to become a member. I just want to talk about it first. Before contacting the Grandmaster of our Brotherhood, you've already made up your mind to be initiated into the Illuminati. Yeah, next they're going to tell me to send some weird-ass video of myself. Yeah, send me a picture of your toes next. Is this really required for me to join the Illuminati? Yes, and make sure they're really dirty. <laughs> like, but, bro, that's dead ass. What's gonna happen next? What? This is kind of scary. I know there's no way the great Illuminati actually has as much power as they say. It's just that, like, what if there's some truth to this? This might be some guy in his basement, but this can also be, like, a legitimate. There cult. are, there are groups of people that have power outside of the Illuminati. Where is it that there, there's some meeting that's held every year where really rich, really famous people, really rich and really famous people go and leaders of the world and they talk and they never talk about what was in that conversation. Do you know what I'm talking about, chat? Where, oh, what is the name of that? Bohemian Grove? No, is it Bohemian Grove? I'm going to look it up. It might be that, but I'm also... It's not the United Nations. The United Nations, they'll... Bro, they could... Uh, that's not secretive. No, but there's some group... It might be Bohemian Grove. I, I've looked at this one. Yes, this is one. But there's another one where they actually just meet in, like, a building, not outside. And they have, like, a meeting... And they just talk to each other about, like, world shit. World Economic Forum. Everybody's saying Bohemian Grove, so it might be that. Bilderberg meeting, it might be that. There, I, anyways, it doesn't even matter. There's some meeting where a lot of rich people, like, there's a lot of groups and times where people meet that are very powerful and they're very secretive on what they talk about. But, like, the Illuminati, I feel like, is just hyped up and it kind of distracts the attention from, like, genuine groups that actually control things that do meet up uh attack for the sub professional who will actually punish me in real life if i don't do what he says let's just try calling him one more time imagine he answers don't call yet unless you have been asked to okay say okay grandmaster yeah see now that's some kink shit see <laughs> nah that's some kink shit Bro, see, I already, yo, know, I already know, bro. Next, and next question. All right, send me a picture of your piggies spread. Huh? Bro, hit okay, him with that Grant. question mark. Nah, there's some dumbass, bro. Master. 
In some cases, cult leaders think they're legit. They really believe what they're doing is helping people, no matter how damaging it might actually be. But in this case, it doesn't seem like I always try to envision myself in their mind, right? Like, have you guys ever, like, looked at somebody and genuinely tried to see the world in their eyes? Not in the sense that, like, you're like, oh, what would it look like in their perspective right now? Like, you genuinely try to envision what it would be like to be someone else. You can get there, right? Like, if you look at, like, somebody you know, you could, you could genuinely try and, like, actually envision what it's like to be them. And envisioning yourself as somebody that's, like, a cult leader, it's, like, borderline insanity, right? Like, they, they genuinely believe everything they're doing. It's kind of like a, a fault. Like, they're in their own wall, right? And they can't get out of that train of thought. Did you get a haircut? No, I just changed the style. I literally just went like this instead. And then kind of went more like that way. Like that. It's really not changed much. Like it. Uh I was not the grandmaster. There's a couple of weirdly authentic elements to it, though. Like how he explained how your friends are gonna laugh at you when you tell them you've been talking with the Illuminati. But really, they've been the ones writing those stupid articles making fun of their existence. Brad Esposito wrote every goddamn article on the fucking Illuminati on BuzzFeed, but his whole job is this shit. Writing those stupid My God, Brad. articles making Brad. fun of their existence. Which is kind of weirdly believable because everybody knows no human works for BuzzFeed anymore. And I mean, who are these people writing these articles? Also, he told me there are no membership fees to join, which is weirdly nice. There is no membership. Your registration fees is anything that comes from your heart. Zero dollars. Send. No membership fees to join, which is weirdly nice. Not the Grandmaster again. Yeah, it sounds a lot like my cult slash church that I grew up in, you know? Yeah. Like, you donate money to it. You don't have, there's not a set amount. No, we money. don't, you don't have to donate money. But here's a basket if you want to give us a thousand dollars. You suggest 10% of all of your income. 10% of my income? Fuck! Our cult leaders. Ten percent. Huh. Huh. It's another state tax. Jesus. That kind of inherits the cult position. Ten percent. Huh. And they get put in that position and they think they're doing the right thing. Then there are people that very much are doing it deliberately. I think Nexium is a good example. He very much wanted to manipulate. Nexium is a well-known example of this non-traditional cult. Although it didn't have the name recognition of the Illuminati, their charismatic leader, Keith Raniere, made his members call him and made them sign a pledge Yo, to- Yo, I really want to join a cult for like a week. Just to like see, <laughs> just to like see, just to see what it would be like, bro, for like one week. You know what I mean? Just pull up, pull up, be like, all right, I'm in, right? You join that shit. Then they start telling me like, all right, all right, we're going to start, uh, we're going to start, uh, embracing each other. It's all about love. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. And then it goes down that weird path where they're like, all right, we're all going to kill ourselves on March 25th, 2032. And then I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. That's where you lost me. <laughs> all right. All right. That's where I'm going to back up. See, cause it always, they always, every cult like lures you in with like, I'm not talking about like racial cults, right? Cause that's already whack off rip. But, like, cults like this, it's always, like, about, like, love or success and, like, in like finding who you are. And then, like, as you go in, then it's like, yeah, the real goal is we're all going to kill ourselves on March 25th. I'm like, no, I'm not. Okay, never mind. And then you leave. Loyal Slim for the sub. 11 for the 300 bets. Says, I saw a crackhead at the airport today trying to throw up in a woman's bathroom. And I asked if he was okay. Uh, he said he ate Doritos. He said he ate Doritos and that's why he was in a women's bathroom throwing up. Ethically control as much of the money, wealth, and resources of the world as possible. Sounds familiar. Nexium failed because Keith sexually abused most of its members and got thrown in jail like Calvin's cult, but the Illuminati has learned from their mistakes. As far as I know, they aren't doing anything to their members, Wait, but- Wait, the Illuminati actually had a genuine leader at a time? 
the Illuminati is run just like Nexium, a system that benefits those that are most involved because they're the ones making the leaders the most money. The members are forced to put in more and more hours to work up the ranks of the leader's respect. Now that I think about it, I have only talked to one leader from the Illuminati. And even though I could have easily lied, I just gave him my real name and I didn't even realize it, but he probably could find more information about me on my WhatsApp account. I don't know if this guy is a hacker, but if he is, things could go south really quick. Especially when I try to leave this cult at the end of the video. I don't know how happy he'll be with me. Luckily, I have notifications- Just block him. <laughs> like, what? turned on for Aura, which tells me when there is suspicious activity going on with my bank account and is also the sponsor of this video. It will <laughs> That's three people since I started <laughs> talking about this. Go to Aura.com slash Jack Gordon for a free your identity. I thought I got past it. Committing to joining the Illuminati for life? No registration fees is anything that comes from your heart. Okay, by initiating- Yeah, but you don't skip Joe Bart ads. Yo, you know when Joe Bart does an ad, that's when you're like, damn, okay, I'll watch this. Right now, you're saying there's no way I could go back in case I change my mind? Yes. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Rage Shadow Legends. I was reading that. This means you are a spy and you will face the consequences now. You will face the consequences for trying to spy. I was beating himself. You don't come to the secret society and me. Do you want to die? Simply, uh, police? Uh, yes, this man just sent me a death threat. B like, what? <laughs> Imagine you just hit him with a... L plus ratio plus your cult sucks dick. Send. <laughs> L plus L plus ratio plus your profile picture looks dumb as hell. And then you just fucking leave. And then you just fucking leave. Oh my god. I blocked him. Yeah! The impact of a block is so powerful. Apparently more powerful than the entire Illuminati. Because I never heard from him again. It seems this cult really is not Yeah, he might have to hit us with an update after this video, though. ...powerful as its members seem to believe. But thousands of people willingly join cults that are seriously much worse all the time. Seriously, hopefully hearing all this will help you avoid it in the future. Subscribe! That was a good video. I'll, I'll hit that shit with a like. All right. Um... Eddie for the 2000 biddies. Look into the suppressed history of American banking. The Rothschilds made the, the dollar bill the global currency and tried to assassinate presidents. Lincoln made the first green banks. Uh, I've looked into the Rothschilds shit, but people's people make TikToks about the, like half of my for you page is that one compilation with this, with this song. Hold up. Every, ev like literally this song. And it's just a picture compilation of the Rothschilds. And I just read that shit. And I'm just like, and every time, control the bank. And it's all these pictures from like 1930. Like, bro, yes, they have affluence and they're vi like, and they, they can control a lot of things, but they don't anymore to the degree that people think they do. They did then, yes, but not, not now. It's about how the Federal Reserve was made and the and the robber barons would abuse it. Bro, it's like you you it's not even just that. It's just the I it's not even just the Rothschilds. It's just anybody with an absurd amount of money. If you have over a hundred million dollars, you can control small sections of your area, and the more money you have, the more you can control. Like at the end of the day, Jeff Bezos is under the reins of the government. I'm just using him as an example. But he owns so much. He owns Amazon and all the companies that are under the Amazon branch to the effect that, like, the government has to listen to Jeff Bezos way more than they do an, the, a, a, a normal American. Because if Jeff Bezos wanted to fuck over the United States, he could, right? Not to the effect where it would crash, but he could ruin a lot of things. 11 for the sub, K-Bond for the sub, Ryan for the 300 bets. Are you going to play the new Harry Potter game? I don't know. Who's your favorite NFL team? The Eagles Waffles for the 300 bets. Happy birthday. Well, it's not my birthday yet. Yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. I hope you don't get high on G Fuel. 
I don't think I will get high on G Fuel. I don't. I, I believe that is not possible. 11 for the sub. All right. Uh, and uh, 11 for the 3,000 biddies. I'm a huge fan. I just spent all my savings for this. Can you say hi? That's all I would like. Hello. Uh, bro, you don't need to send me your 3,000 biddies. You don't need to send me your savings. Please do not waste money. Uh, if you are going to send me money, make sure it is expendable income, not something that you need. Uh, I thank you for the 3,000 biddies. And hello. Uh, and I'm glad that you like my content. But you do not need to give money. All right. Meth head steals Domino's car during delivery in under a minute. <laughs> Together for the 25 gifted! Dub in the fucking chat. Thank you, Together Aura, for the 25 fucking gifted subs. Dub in the chat for Together Aura 501. Thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the 25 fucking gifted Together. How many subs do you have total? Let me look. Hold up. I gotta scroll up. I gotta scroll up. Wait. Why can't I see it? Where is it? Where is it? It's all these flagged messages. I can't see how many subs you have total. Fuck. Oh, wait. No, I can't. 332. Bro! 332 subs total from Together or a Damn. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking 25 gifteds, bro. NBH for the sub as well. So many subs. Thank you for the fucking subs. Thank them if you got a sub. And another gift that's from Together just now to Jacob. I appreciate the fucking subs, Together. Genuinely. A lot of subs, bro. In the past few days as well. Together, we're at 333 subs total. Massive dub in the chat for that. I appreciate the fucking subs. Wow. Holy shit. Thank you. Genuinely. Bro, it's just another casual day. But he's just, but he's just delivering a Domino's pizza. Checking the phone at the stoplight. All right, where's the crackhead? Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see. I was like, damn, let me fast forward. But he just immediately opts in the car. Why did he leave his car? Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you leave your car unlocked? How do they know he's a crackhead? And like, what is he going to do with this car? Jesus. Oh yeah, no, he looks like he's tweaking. I mean, I went big. Fuck you, nigga. Go get this one. Does he know how to drive? Oh my god! Hell, yeah, bitch. What is he texting his boy that he just fucking stole a car? What are you gonna do now? Look at his shirt. I just got a car fucking jack, ho. Woo! I was G, nigga. Oh, that's a cop. Holy shit! Is he already getting pulled over? <laughs> He probably got pulled over not even because he was not even because he stole the car. He probably got pulled over because because he was fucking driving over curbs and shit. Oh, da, da, da. Uh, just act normal. Yeah, just act normal. Oh, bro, he looks like he's on something right now. Holy fuck! Oh, is he gonna? Is he gonna I'm go? So screwed. What was the strategy? What was the strategy? You steal the car, then what? Oh, so fucking screwed, man. Yeah. 
Yo, you know what's crazy though is this is really interesting to watch because this is how he this is how he's acting. He doesn't know that he's being filmed. So this is just him. Like this is his genuine like oh fuck. Is he gonna gas it or pull over? Oh, where is he going? The police officer's just following him. His shirt's covered in meth? Is that meth? That might just be fucking dirty. Oh, yeah, now that cop's beefy as fuck. Oh, yes, shit. Sir. All right, do it. Take highway patrol. Reason for you stop, you, uh, you change lanes over there, kind of went on safe. You got your license prevention or something? No, sir, I have it available right now, sir. I apologize. Say again? I don't have my... You want keep your hands up? Yeah, I'm just doing my feet on sock. I apologize, okay. sir. Yeah, now I don't have my license search on You got your ID on you? I have anything on me right now. I just go in the store, brother. Okay. Okay, I was been turning that regular lane. How did I switch lanes fast, brother? I don't you got understand. You got anything out for your rest like that, No, sir, sir I just had to... I just had in the law enforcement just yesterday, you won't put it, and they run my name on fine. Say again? They ran my name on fine. It's Jonathan Lindholm. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is put your name, date of birth, yes, social security sir. number down. My name is... Okay, I, I Have you know. been... Uh, you on any type of drugs, any influence? No, sir, like I'm that? completely on sober, 100%. Okay. All right, what I'm uh, asking right now, because I know you're kind of sweating, and so... Yeah, it's hot, brother. Okay. I was just outside. Boy. Rip it, homie. What the fuck? What happened? Did they just let him go? Rip it, Rip it, homie. What the fuck? He that got away? Bro, he doesn't own the car. What did that show up? What if that show up that he doesn't own the car? That shit's crazy. Because the cop car, it's not, he's not even running. It's just not there. Come on, go. They didn't run the plates because it was probably some dumbass warning. Where am I at again? Oh, no. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Bro, he does not know how to drive. Bro, I feel like the car would be reported as stolen by now. This is in the UK. I don't think this is in the UK. They don't have any, they don't have, neither of them had an accent. Out of here, bro. Nigga, out of here, dog. Bro, what? Nigga, that shit was crazy, bitch. She was fine, bro. Wait, what is that in the back? Right? What does he do with the car now? He wasn't caught. Bro, he actually just yoinked that shit. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way he literally just yoinked that shit and got away with it. Bro, because eventually he's got to ha he had to have gotten caught. There's no fucking shot he didn't. Oh my god. Uh just trap an IOI for the sub. Uh Joe Bart for the sub or for the 300 bits. My brother was at his friends and drank too much uh, last night. I was greeted this morning by my mother coming in, telling me that he was found unresponsive in my his friend's room was rushed to the hospital. Please keep him in your prayers. Damn. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I, I hope I hope we'll be okay. Uh, wow. Really. Uh, I'm, I'm genuinely sorry to hear that. Um, IG for the five. I'm 17, dealing with a two and a half year relationship issues. Makes me sad, but uh, streams always make me happy. I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry you're dealing with that too, um, but I'm glad my streams could help you. Uh, Alyssa for the three hundred bets. Uh, you're definitely based in Swagville. We for the three hundred bets. First dono ever wanted to give to my favorite streamer, Dub Charlie for the sub, uh, and Kate for the four hundred bitties. Says for a little backstory, he took the Domino sign off and he eventually got caught. The driver reacts to the video. Oh, Domino driver. Talks about getting cars stolen during delivery. Just, it's really funny. 
And so she got one hour of span where, like, I reported. That's literally this guy. Um, uh, Bro, I wouldn't know what to do. If I was a Domino's delivery driver and somebody yoinked the car, because it's not his car, right? Don't they provide you with a car? I don't know how that actually works. I feel like that might be a dependent thing, but I would be like, bro, what the fuck? Like that, or is that actually his car with just a Domino sign on it? They don't, it's literally your car, bro. They stole his car. Oh, I would be pissed. I would be fucking pissed. Kate for the forge bits. Uh, all right. Next video. We have four more. We have these two and then uh, we have the homeless scene who created Louis Vuitton. You are too. And then two short horror films. Homeless scene who created Louis Vuitton. What a weird intro this is. Louis Vuitton is the most valuable luxury fashion brand in the world. Its CEO, Bernard Arnault, is also the second wealthiest man on the planet with a net worth of around $180 billion. No way. I don't think that's... The fuck is his name? Louis Vuitton creator. Well, Louis Vuitton's creator is Louis Vuitton. Am I dumb? Louis Vuitton owner. Owner. Yeah, Bernard Arnault. Net worth. $223 billion today. How the fuck is he... So he's more rich than Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos? That's not true. Richest people in the world, 2022. Forbes 100. Oh my God, it's, he's second. It's Jeff Bezos, Bernard, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. Where the fuck is Elon Musk? This isn't updated. This was from uh, 2022 though. I don't know, whatever. Joe, it's 2023. Yeah, the year's not over yet. So you have to do from 2022. Looking at the success of today, you would never guess that the company was started by a man who was homeless during his teenage years, had no education, and slept in a forest. Louis Vuitton is a true rags to riches story. But the and he did it all with Andrew Tate's $50 a month Discord. The company would also be subject of a hostile takeover, countless lawsuits, and a host of other controversies. This is the insane story of Louis Vuitton and how a tiny family business evolved into one of the most powerful brands in the world. Louis Vuitton was born in 1821 and grew up working on his family farm in France. What? Bro, are we going through the different people? in a small village called Ankai in the middle of nowhere. They had no electricity and no running water. Charlie for the sub, we for the 300 bits. Uh, brr, brr, brr. Kate for the 400 bits. A little backstory, you took the dot. Oh, I already read that. Uh, Kate for the 300 bits. Keep sending bets. I'm not trying to spam. I was one of the requested the math video. Thanks for watching it. Happy early birthday. No problem. Uh, and thank you. And Tidy for the 300 bits. What's the scar on your shoulder from? And the hair is growing on me. The scar on my shoulder? What scar on- This is a birthmark. That's not a scar. The hair's growing on you? Yo, chat, you fuck with the hair yet? Yo, chat, is it- Yo, chat, you rock with the hair yet? Yo, chat, you rock with it yet? You rock with it yet? Is it growing on you now? The hair's growing on you now? Yep, everybody's saying no. Stretch marks? Where? These are stretch marks. All of that is stretch marks. From lifting. And growing. Water. Louis' father, Xavier- What the hell is wrong with your hair? Nothing's wrong with my hair. Bro, and the fact that 2-inch said that, like, I don't want to roast you, but, like, I know damn well you're trying to sit here and tell me what the fuck is wrong with my hair. Literally nothing's wrong with my hair. It looks perfectly fine. Like, why are people saying it, lo it, it's, it's, it looks wrong? It looks normal. Your jaw's fat as fuck. Yo, literally? Oh my god, bro. Like, this is what I love. Yo, now you got me off topic. Motherfuckers on social media so quick to diss other motherfuckers. Meanwhile, they probably look like Elmo. Like, yo, literally motherfuckers looking like Elmo trying to tell me I look ugly as hell.
Like dead ass, bro. Oh my god. Somebody redeemed headset that? Like what? Like what? Like that shit makes literally no sense. All right. Um, tidy for the 300 bets. No, but it's not even a different haircut. I just styled it differently. I could literally go back to styling it like that. It's almost the same though. Like y'all really think that that is that big of a difference from this. They're almost exactly the same. Your hair's weird. Yo, for the love of God, somebody's, yo, two inch, send a picture of your hair. Swear to God. Send, send Crucible a picture of your hair and I'll show it on stream and my chat will rate your fucking hair. I can't wait. I can't wait. Because motherfuckers diss my hair so fast. I can't wait, bro. I cannot wait. Red for the 300 bets. TBH, you need to stop with the hair you had. TBH, you need to stop with the hair. The hair you had yesterday solo is the style you have today. Okay, waffles for the 300 bets. Told you happy birthday. I got confused. I meant happy early birthday. You missed my sub yesterday. Thank you for the sub yesterday. Dude, I don't know if I'm going to switch back to the hairstyle I had yesterday. I'm going to rock whatever hairstyle I want at the end of the day. I don't give a shit what you guys think. I asked you just because I wanted your opinion. But at the end of the day, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Okay? Good shit, chat. All right? Back to the video. Via was a miller and farmer. Whilst his mother Corinne made ha Charlie for the three hundred bits hairstyle tier review or hairless. No, that would be shitty. Viewer hair review. No, because then if I do a video where I view where I rate my my chat's haircuts, people are gonna get so depressed and they'll sit there and say, "Oh no, I won't be upset if you make fun of it." Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Because when somebody shows their haircut and ninety percent of my chat says you look ugly as fuck, everybody's gonna get so pressed. And it's going to be so upsetting now because everybody always acts like they can take the shit. And then when the shit actually comes, they can't fucking take it. That's life. Okay. So don't, act, so don't sit here. I, I'm not, I'm not shitting on you. I'm just saying that idea would never work. Abby for the three. What's wrong with Elmo? You bitch. Hats to help make some extra cash. There are no records showing that Louis ever received. And then motherfuckers would say, Joe, I submitted my haircut to your discord. And then I was appalled to see that everybody made fun of me. And I really think that you should take the video down because the hate is getting too much. Like, then, like I, I could preface it a million times. If you get made fun of, you get made fun of. Don't submit your haircut if you don't want somebody to make fun of your hair. Yet people would still submit their hair. And then when somebody dissed it, they would get fucking pressed. That's just how it goes an education the nearest school was in a village six miles away and it's believed he worked full-time on the family farm without learning how to read or write louis would have been working in the fields every day from dusk look at cruz's dms he did not send me a dm he might have sent it in the mod discord he didn't send me anything oh there it is Wait, hold up. Bro, you have the most basic haircut ever. You have, bro, you, yes. Yes, your hair is a bat. You would literally just have the TikTok cut. You just have the TikTok cut, bro. Like, 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 you're, like, you're sitting there, but like, oh yeah, your haircut looked dumb as fuck. Bro, you literally have the TikTok fucking renegade cut. You got like, yo, I'm not even trying, I'm not even dissing it. It doesn't look bad, but like, bro. Swervy for the sub, ice for the fivers bets. Do you watch any other sports like MLB or NBA? If so, what team do you watch? Uh, I don't watch MLB or the NBA. A Paul for the sub. Uh, I watch track a lot, uh, comparatively. Uh, but yeah. All right, let's get back into it. Till dawn, just to make enough food to help feed his family. Needless to say, the Vuittons were struggling financially, and young Louis was born into a situation that should have doomed him from ever having the frat type cut. You got that fuck me up, buddy. You don't even have a haircut. You just hide that shit. Yo, yo, I love when motherfuckers have that haircut. Do one of these for me. Do one of these. Do one of these. Every mother that every motherfucker that has that haircut. Do one of these for me. Go like that. Every and, and then oh my god. Every motherfucker that has a haircut, go, go do one of these. Pull up the hair. Pull up the hair. It's going to be way different. You ain't going to be talking that work when you pull up that fucking hair. Because every motherfucker that has a haircut, once they go like that, mm -mm, they, they're not talking anymore. Having a bright future. And then 
things got much worse. I'll own it. I'll own that big ass forehead I got. I'll own that big ass forehead, right? I'll own that shit. Everybody else trying to hide it. They get that poofy ass hair. They get a perm. Some shit. No, own it. Louis's mother died when he was just 10 years old, and his father quickly remarried another woman, but- You're Louis's making me self-conscious. I'm not making anybody self-conscious. Dude, this is what I'm genuinely gonna say. Y'all sitting in my stream, I pull up with this haircut. It's not even a new haircut. I just styled my hair differently. I could literally change it back to how it was. Motherfuckers gonna sit here and they're gonna say, it looks ass, blah, 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 you look dumb as hell. You look like fucking, you look like fucking Peter Pan, all this other shit. And the second I come at y'all, you're making me self-conscious. Own your shit. Own your shit. You got a big-ass forehead? Own it. You don't like your ears? Own that shit. Right? It's your body. You were born in it. It ain't gonna change. Stop giving a fuck about what other people fucking think about your body, bro. Nobody gives a shit. Okay? At the end of the day, oh my god. Some fucking nobody says, says you look ugly as fuck on the side of the road. Yo, literally tell them to go fist themselves. It ain't matter. Okay? It don't matter. Look at his other DM. Oh my fucking God. He didn't send me another DM. A stushi for the sub. Bompus for the 300 bits. When will you play Red Dead again? Uh, never. No, but like genuinely, like this haircut isn't even different from the other one drastically and motherfuckers freak out. Uh, if I had this one first and I went to the other one, people would probably say the exact opposite thing. Oh no, the other one looked better. It's just because you're used to seeing me with that haircut for the last year. Biggie for the sub. New stepmother was incredibly controlling and manipulative towards him, and he constantly got into fights with her. And so, when he was just 13 years old, he ran away from home with plans to go to Paris. He slipped out in the middle of the night with- Your haircut's different, but it don't matter. I like this one. I'm saying, like, is it- It's not bad. Like, people will say, oh, they like the other one better. But, like, a lot of people have this hairstyle. Like, I already showed you, like, people just style their hair like this. It's just, it's just, it's, instead of it being, a, yo, literally, this is the only difference, chat. My, oh, my haircut that I had yesterday, this, it, it went like this. Now, it goes like this. It's not, it's like 10% different. The back's the same. The sides are the same. Everything's the fucking same, chat. Oh, my God. The only thing that's different is this side goes this way instead of going that way. I like it. Am I going to keep rocking it forever? I don't know. But I'm a rock. I'm a rocket right now. Waffles for the 300 bets. Let the haters hate. Exactly. This is advice for all of y'all. Like, dude, be who you want to be. If you like how you look, don't care what other people think. Okay? It's That's the definitive reasoning, right? If you're ever going to change how you look, look at yourself in the mirror first and say, damn, do I really want to change? Does Brooke like it? Brooke made my hair like this. I literally said I, last night, I'm like fucking with my hair. I'm like, do you like it like this? She moves it a little bit more and it looks like this. And she's like, yeah, I like it like that. So I ain't give a fuck. Look at Crucible's DMs. See, bro, you got like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Bro, bro really sent a picture of his forehead. Bro really sent a picture of his forehead. How many damn bracelets do you have on? That is 45 survival bracelets right there, Crucible. But he's ready for the wilderness. But he's ready for the wilderness. <laughs> but, but, but he's got 45 feet of rope on his arm. Fuck. Jovany for the 300 bits. Sorry for mentioning your new style in the beginning of the stream. Bro, no. Yeah, I, I was going to mention it regardless. It doesn't even matter. Uh, Mr. End Dakota for the 305 bits. I don't know why you toxic motherfuckers care so much. It's a different thing. Stop whining. Um, also, two has a basic ass white boy cut. Uh, garbage for the 300 bits. To be fair, I thought it was shit, but now I think it looks better, but that's my opinion. What made you think it looks better, though? And Biggie for the sub, Bompas for the 300 bets. All right. Without even saying goodbye. There you stream every day, six days a week. There's just one problem. Paris was 200. Bro, the motherfuckers in my chat saying two inch kind of bad. Y'all are ego boosting him. Y'all are ego boosting him. He is, yo, that man is literally, that man's doing that shit. Where, you know when you're laying on your stomach and your legs are going like this? That's two inch right now. Two inch sitting on his bed gun. Fucking watching that shit. He's happy as shit. Like, relax. Uh, one, two, three for the fucking 300 bets. What happened to you ever doing a uh, stream with Sneeko? I was going to do a stream with Sneeko. And then he went to Romania. And then he got banned on, like, everything. And then he unfollowed me on Instagram. 
Uh, so I don't think he, me and him are probably ever going to do a stream. Would I ever do one? Yeah, maybe. But I don't even know what the fuck he does anymore. I have not checked Rumble out in forever. My girlfriend broke up with me two weeks ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Bro, <laughs> Twitch said, yep, yeah, he's doing that right now. I found out her grandma was a good cuddler. What? My girlfriend broke up with me, so I found out her grandma was a good cuddler. Tidy for the 300 bets. I think people are are dissing it because it has a point at the middle, but if you grew it out a bit more, it would look great. That's what I'm saying. Like, people are dissing it because it's got this point right here, but when you grow it out and it flaps more, it wouldn't look that bad. But I also just got a haircut, so that's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, Bob is for the 300 bets. Wanted to say you make every single day of my life way better. Thank you for being in my life. Dub. 25 miles away and Louis had no money or food so he was forced to walk along dirt roads most nights he slept in the woods with an empty stomach and just a cloak to keep him warm every time he ran into a new village he would do odd jobs in exchange for food or coins however there was never enough money left over for housing so he continued to sleep in the woods or wherever he could find shelter for the night through these various odd jobs, Louis was able to pick up skills from craftsmen, and he learned how to work with metal, stone, fabric, and wood. This collection of various skills would later transform his life. But at this rate, travel was incredibly slow. It took him three years to reach Paris. Three years? What did he walk? Not long after he arrived in Paris, Louis was able to work as an apprentice boxmaker and packer. Boxmakers would make custom-sized boxes for clients, as well as pack and unpack them whenever a client was about to go on a trip. This job allowed him to yes, make many- Yes, he actually probably did. Yeah, damn, really. Uh, F1 for the sub, Ether for the 3-inch bets. You could land a helicopter on 2 inches forehead. Now, mine's probably bigger. People from the upper class who were looking for custom made luggage for their travels. And Louis worked here for several years, learning the craft and working as hard as he could. In fact, in 1851, the Empress of France ended up being a customer and took notice of his fine craftsmanship. She appointed him as her personal box maker and Bro, imagine being born as a queen or a king. Or not even, you're not born as a queen or a king. Imagine being born as like a prince or a princess. That shit's nuts. And you just immediately have a higher sense of self than everybody else. You're just immediately egoed. You're born and you're immediately egoed because you're just uh, you're just already a king. You're already you're already set for doing nothing. For most box makers, it's not even like being rich, right? You're rich and you're royalty. You're immediately famous from the second that you're born. This would be the highest honor anyone could ever achieve in their career. Louis had gone from a homeless teenager with nothing to his name to now working a prestigious job amongst royalty. That was a massive achievement on its own. But Louis Vuitton had an even bigger vision for his future. After getting married when he was 33, Louis used his savings to start his own business and opened up his own box making workshop in Paris to begin selling his own products. You see, Louis had noticed a major flaw in the luggage of the day. All of the boxes were made of leather and had rounded dome shaped tops so that rain would roll off the top of the luggage. The major issue was that it was impossible to stack them, so packers had to carry the boxes one by one. Louis began experimenting with different materials to use instead and found that canvas was lighter, durable, and more water resistant, which meant the trunks could have flat tops instead. This made everything more efficient, as it was now possible to stack them up in a pile and pack multiple trunks at the same time, and they were also more compact. Louis's new suitcase design brought on the dawn of modern day luggage. At this point, Louis had already built up his professional reputation as well as connections to the upper class, so once he launched his new line of luggage, it was immediately a huge success. He even created a Louis Vuitton catalogue so that customers could look at products that he had available and have them made before sending it to their homes. Within two years- Yo, this video is boring as fuck. Can we- <laughs> Yo! Can we move on? Fuck. Like, I don't care. I don't like- I, I don't even think anybody said this was boring. This one, uh, bro. This- No, it's good as shit. Bro. Bro. I didn't want to say anything, bro. This one's so ass. Oh my god, I was like so hyped to see this shit, and then you're know, talking about b boxing bags. Oh my fucking god, I, oh, I, I was, I, that was a struggle. That was a hard watch. You get 15 minutes into that one? No. Ugh. Mr. Endicota for the three inch bits. Two inch got really quiet. What do you mean two inch got really quiet? All right, hold up. I gotta go pee real quick, and then we're gonna finish these next three videos. Count me down. 30 seconds. I'll be back.
you are too. This is a short video, four minutes, four minutes, 57 seconds. Your brain is two brains, two hemispheres, each doing half the work of being you. Half your vision goes oh, to- Gotta post on TikTok, one second, one or two, chat. One, seven, I've seen a lot of ones here. All right, posting. All right. Uh, Red for the sub. Jovany for the three bits. Didn't you just piss 15 minutes ago? No, like an hour ago. I've gone to the bathroom twice this stream. To each and half your movement directed by each. Right controls left and left controls right. Your two brains coordinate through a wire of nerves, but this wire can be cut and was, for a time, used as an epilepsy treatment. After the cut, people seemed the same. Wait, they would cut someone's brain out? After the cut, people seemed the same, though their brain was split in They would cut Twain. Except some post-split patients describe that while selecting their morning outfit with right hand, left might come along to disagree. Actually, left hand might quite often disagree, which these split brain patients found frustrating. What's happening? To investigate, remember, right brain sees and controls one half, while left brain controls and sees the other. But only left brain can speak. Hello. Because that's where the speech center is located. Right brain, without this, is mute. In normal brains, this doesn't matter because each half communicates across the wire with the other. But split brains can't, and thus you can show just the right brain a word, ask the person what did you see, and you'll hear nothing. Because left speaking brain saw nothing. Meanwhile, right brain will use its hand to pick the object out of a pile hidden from left brain. This is deeply- That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Are y'all following? I'm dead confused. What? So you're saying it's like two people? What do you mean? Can show just the right brain a word, as can't, and thus you can show just the right brain a word, ask the person- You show the right brain a Rubik's Cube. Person, what did you see? And you'll hear nothing. Because left speaking brain saw nothing. Meanwhile, right brain will use its hand to pick the object out of a pile hidden from left brain. This is deeply creepy. Ask why are you holding the object and speaking left brain will make up a plausible sounding but totally wrong reason. I always wanted to learn how to solve one of these. <laughs> left brain isn't lying, it's just doing what brains do, creating a story that explains its past actions to its current self. A behavior which does rather cast doubt onto the notion of free will, but- Wait, so people, like, when they used to do this with people, they were just, like, fucking two different people in one brain. When they would splice, try it? Yeah, let me slice my brain in two. That's a story for another time. Creating reasons for why it does things is just something left brains do. It happens in normal, healthy humans all the time, and if you think about it closely, you know you've done this. Back to experiments. Give right brain an object, ask the person what's in your hand, and they won't be able to say. I'm not holding anything. And when asked to draw a- Because they're not connected, so they can't communicate. You're still the same person in one brain, but oh my god. Split brain can draw two separate objects simultaneously with each hand in a way unsplit brains find challenging. These experiments on split brain patients are deeply unsettling because they really point in the direction of a mute, separate intelligence something living in the skull. You can even ask questions of a split brain and get disagreement on the answer. So if your brain is split, who is the you in this situation? From the outside, it's tempting to think of the part of the brain that's speaking as the person, but so- Bro, what did that literally just- what did that literally just disprove the fact that we have a consciousness? What, what, uh, yo, I'm not trying to get philosophical, but this man's saying that if we have two brains, you immediately have two subjective values. What the fuck? No? Yes, it is. Outside, it's tempting to think of- What's you? If you cut my brain in two, I'm still- I'm still alive, right? If you- I'm not saying you just, like, mangle my brain. But you do this. Now I'm immediately incapable of having a, an acute opinion as one. And some things I can't fucking do anymore.
of the part of the brain that's speaking as the person, but something is hearing and answering questions. And the right brain can't speak, it does understand faces, which left- Bro, what would that feel like? Like, I understand what he's saying and like, oh, you're witnessing somebody do this, but imagine being that person. You literally just have two different brains. Brain can't. If this is you, you don't know who your friends and family are in a crowd. This act of cutting exposes two minds in one head, and the talking mind doesn't know there's someone else in the house. The left brain can. That's fucking creepy. That's fucking creepy. The talking mind doesn't know there's someone else in the house. The left brain can describe the situation it's in, but nonetheless will constantly be surprised by right brain's actions and explain them away. There's a qu But like your brain would just start expl- I, Yo, I don't get that. Back to the Rubik's Cube thing. He's saying you pick up the Rubik's Cube and then you put it in the right hand and the left has to explain why they're holding the Rubik's Cube. And we know, outside perspective, they picked up the Rubik's Cube because it told them to pick up the Rubik's Cube. But the left side of your brain, which is also you, doesn't know why it picked up the Rubik's Cube. So it makes up a reasoning? I would be like, I don't know why I picked this up. I'm not fu- Bruh, what? Question to be asked here, why after separation does right brain not totally freak out, but instead plays along helpfully answering questions and listening to left brain's dumb stories about what's happening? It's the best pony? I don't know. Speculation time, but one answer is the cutting doesn't make right brain a separate intelligence, consciousness, person, but rather it has always been. In normal people, perhaps right brain grows up as a companion without a choice, feeling at first somewhat equal partners, but then as speech develops that it can't participate in, that increasingly becomes the central point of life, it resigns to mutely coordinate with left brain. At this moment, so like in your normal people. head, there are two of you ah, watching fuck? this video. What the fuck? One what, the fuck? what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. So there's like two people in your brain. Or you're not two people in your brain. You're like two different things. That's fucking weird. That's so fucking weird. And one of your and one part of your brain can do something. I always knew like, oh yeah, left side controls or left brain controls right side. Right brain controls left side. But I didn't know that like you split that shit down the middle. They they do completely different tasks. No shit. But they're like actually two different functioning fucking beings. You should have saved this video when you're high tomorrow. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Do I have some videos for... I already fucking saved... These are the videos we're reacting to tomorrow. I already saved them. Man hasn't slept since 1962. How to pretend we're going to actively do this tomorrow, by the way. Little spoiler chat. When I get high tomorrow, we're going to watch these videos on how to pretend you're not high. And then... <laughs> And then we're going to watch why reality is it real. Then we'll play some video games, some other shit. Yeah, no, I'm hype. I'm hype. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun for sure. All right. Uh, one snowball for the sub, JJ for the 300 bits. Uh, after this, can you watch the New Zealand Today mystery of the empty Albuquerque noodle houses? Bro, I'm literally watching that tomorrow. I, I Or I should. I don't know definitively because I actually tagged a lot of videos. We will watch that soon enough. I'm probably going to watch it tomorrow. If not, I'll watch it another React Day. Uh, but I have a queued for tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll, we'll end up playing video games and shit later on. Carter for the 500 bits, though. Mind equals blown moment, and the other mentally rolling its eye at the obviousness of it all. When are you streaming tomorrow? 4.30 EST. How long is tomorrow's stream? I don't know, like four hours, maybe. In split brains, right doesn't... F like a normal stream freak out because not a whole lot has really changed you might not agree and may be arguing right now why it can't be possible yeah no exactly it's not as we would expect talking left brain to do Spe oh my god i'm in denial oh my god oh my god my left brain's in denial a whole lot has really changed you might not agree and may be arguing right now why it can't be possible exactly as we would expect ah what am i bro that's oh my god this is going back into a philosophical conversation right now oh i'm about to dissociate any second right now fuck brain to do speculation aside split brain patients i want to talk to my right brain but my right brain can't talk
know at the very least that in the mind there is a separate something that can hear and understand and respond given the right circumstances. Your brain isn't entirely yours. Who is you? You is too. I but swear to God, if go the video deeper. ends there. You, you are many. The, the pile, pile of meat that is your body, body is, is made up of trillions, trillions of tiny individuals that have a life of their own. Bro, have y'all ever thought about that? Like, we're... Bro, I was literally in my senior uh, seminar philosophy class. I'm not a senior, but I have to take the class this semester, even though I'm junior, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that. But, right, I'm sitting in the class, and we're talking about Buddhism. And the idea of every living thing having a soul and every living thing having some sort of consciousness. Theoretically, n not really, because your brain, like your individual cells can't think like have consciousness think. But you're basically not one person. You're one consciousness compiled by millions and millions of living things that are trying to make sense of the world and cumulatively group into one being to understand that world. <laughs> y'all fucking bitching me y'all saying wake up and then when i stare at the goddamn video y'all freak out I'll ban you. It's my chat. Spotted for the three. That's what the voice in your head is the right brain. Also, do be dead tomorrow. Yeah, facts. Don, uh, down for the 300 bets. You're saying it's the, it's, it's the brain in your head. It, wait, wait, wait. You're saying, you're saying the voice that I'm speaking out right now is my left brain, but then the brain in my head is my right brain. When I'm taught, nah, that's not true. Because it's lang language is its own. Is language right or left brain? Left. Yeah, no, it's left regardless. Uh, two inch, uh, temp ish for the three inch bets. First time donating. Uh, sorry, it isn't much. You don't have to apologize, bro. Any dono is appreciated. I uh, enjoy watching your streams. Uh, you help me through depression. By the way, can you say hi, Mateo? Hello, Mateo. Carter for the five inch bets. Uh, spotted for the three, and Dom for the three inch bets says, wake up. So, at which point do the many become one? What makes lots of tiny things you? Fuck! Now we have to watch this. Are you your body? Well, kind of, right? But is there a now line... Now we have to watch this, chat. Do we watch this? It's literally... It literally directly leads to the cur... And then we'll get into the horror shit. Now I have to watch this. Where this stops being true? How much of yourself can you remove before you stop being you? I genuinely believe... That if you you could put my brain in a robot body and I'd be me. I don't think anything else matters. I argued with this again in my philosophy class and, and like the whole the whole class disagreed with me. They said that your your entire body is your consciousness. I disagree. I think it's your head. I think you could you could chunk out my brain, plop it in a fucking robot, and I'd be me. Not even my heart. If you could somehow keep my brain alive, that's the only thing that fucking matters. And does the question why the heart the heart the heart's only needed to keep the rest of your body alive including your brain if you could keep your brain alive that is everything that that controls functionality cognitiveness uh language everything your brain is almost everything so like it, it, to that effect if you could just keep the brain alive that's all you need you could put your brain in a vat and, and if it's alive you have perception you want to have sense touch taste smell like there's a lot of different things that would get all fucking wonky but you as a conscious thinking being would be capable of sitting in a vat in darkness just just existing. Makes sense. Somebody said kill the Duolingo bird. What? Your physical existence is cells. 
trillions of them, at least 10 times more than there are stars in the Milky Way. A cell is a living being, a machine made of up to 50,000 different proteins. It has no consciousness, no will, no purpose, it just is. But it is still an individual. Together, your but then cell- But how the fuck does that, does that make a person? Like, if it's not conscious, how the hell do we get conscious? All of them together make us. That makes no fucking sense. ...form huge structures for jobs like preparing food, gathering resources, transporting stuff around... The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. ...scanning the environment, and so on. If you extract cells from your body and put them in the right environment, they will continue to stay alive for a while. So, your cells can exist without you. But you can't exist without them. Damn. Damn. If we take all the cells away, there is no you anymore. Fuck. Is there a line where a pile of your cells stops being you? For example, if you donate an organ, billions of your cells will continue to live on inside someone else. Does this mean that a part of you became a part of another person? Yes. Or is this other body... No, then they get morphed. Then they get morphed into that. ...keeping a part of you alive. Or let us imagine an experiment. You and a random person from the street exchange cells. One at a time, your body gets one of their cells, their body gets one of your cells, at which point would they become you? Would they ever, or is this just a very slow and gross way to teleport you? Let's make this more complicated. The image of ourselves as a static thing is untenable. Almost all of your cells have to die during your lifetime. 250 million have died since the beginning of this video alone. 250 million since in two minutes? Between one and three million per second. What? Bro, I didn't think it was that fast. Yo, rip. Wow. Rest in peace to the 250 million cells that everybody just lost. In a seven year period, most of your cells are replaced at least once. Yeah, that's what they always say. Every seven years, you're an entirely new person. Every time your cell setup changes, you are slightly- Damn, and I turned 21 in fucking six hours. 7, 14, 21. I'm about to be a whole new fucking person. I'm about to be a whole new fucking person, bitch. Damn. Damn. That shit's nuts. Be different than before. So, a part of you is dying constantly. If you are lucky enough to become old, you would have cycled through roughly a million billion cells. So, what you consider yourself is really just a snapshot. But sometimes, cells are broken and don't want to die. Questioning the very nature of the unity of our bodies, we call them cancer. They cancel the biological social contract and become basically immortal. Cancer is not an outside invader, it's a part of you that puts its own survival over yours. You're like a traitor. But you could also argue that a cancer cell becomes another entity inside us, another being that just wants to thrive and survive. Can we blame it for that? A chilling cell story. Yo. Cancer cells, they, they trade, they're a traitor to you, but they're just trying to survive themselves because if they become cancer, then they can't die. ...is that of Henrietta Lacks, a young cancer patient who died in 1951. Usually, cells only survived for a few days in the lab, making research very hard. Henrietta's cancer cells were immortal. Over the decades, they were multiplied over and over again and used for countless research projects, saving countless lives. Henrietta's cells are still alive and overall have been grown to at least 20 tons of what? biomass. So there are living parts around the world from someone who has been considered dead for decades. How much of Henrietta is in these cells? What makes one of your cells you anyway? Maybe the information- Damn, but those little fucks are traitors. Bro, bro, those little fucks are traitors. That's upsetting. ...contained in it, your DNA. Until recently, it was believed that all the cells in your body had basically the same genetic code. 
but it turns out this is wrong. Bro, why can't we, uh, like, I understand it's like the telomere shortening and eventually you can't replicate cells anymore, but like, fuck. Like, like, like cancer cells could be immortal. What if every cell just became immortal? Then you would be immortal. But then Your you wouldn't be able to replicate, and then you couldn't receive new... And, oh, there's, like, oh, there's issues with that. I Genome know. is mobile, changing over time through mutations and environmental influences. This is especially the case in your brain. According to recent discoveries, a single neuron in an adult brain has more than 1,000 mutations in its genetic code that are not present in the cells surrounding it. But how much you is your DNA, really? About 8% of the human genome is made up of viruses that once infected our ancestors and merged with us. Mitochondria, power plants of the cell, once were bacteria that merged with the ancestors of your cells. They still have their own DNA. An average cell has hundreds of them. Hundreds of little things that are not really human, but they still kind of are. It is what? confusing. Let's backtrack a bit. We know that you're made up of trillions of little things, made from more little things that are constantly changing. Together, all those little things are not static, but dynamic. Their composition and condition is changing constantly. So we might just be a self-sustaining pattern without clear borders that gained self-awareness at some point and now has the ability to think about itself through time. So, we might just be a self-sustaining pattern without clear borders that gained self-awareness at some point and now has the ability to think about itself through time and space, but really only exists in this exact very moment. Bro, I've been saying that. Like, I, you remember what I wrote down? I remember I read this to you guys on stream. I was saying, what if we live in the present moment? When we remember things or learn new things from the present, we have a new connection with brain circuits remapping the brain. So is the brain not actually memory at all other than that of a previous circuit? So you only exist right now. Like every freeze frame. Like you don't actually exist. You're only existing in, a, in, in, in like a small, individual, minute moment. But then you just have those, when you're in each of these moments, you have memories from previous circuits. Because every time you remember new things, your brain kind of rewires. So we might just be a self-sustaining pattern without clear borders that gained self-awareness at some point. And That's fucking insane. Now has the ability to think about itself through time and space, but really only exists in this exact very moment. Where did this pattern start? Bro. With your conception, when the first human arose, when life first began conquering our small planet, or when the elements that make up your body were forged in a star, our human brains evolved to deal with absolutes. The fuzzy borders that make up reality are hard to grasp. Maybe ideas like beginning and end, life and death, you and me, are really not absolutes, but ideas belonging to a fluent pattern. A pattern that is lost in this strange and beautiful... What the fuck? To a fluent pattern. A pattern that is lost in this strange and beautiful universe. The problem of who we are isn't just a question of our cells, but it's also a question of our minds. Just as our cells can be divided and separated from us, so can our very brains be divided and separated from us. While still in the wow, sky- Wow, and they literally loop back to each other. Bro, those were fire-ass videos. Everyone is the universe? Yo, I, okay, I don't know why y'all are so- I don't know why y'all are actually, like, held on that. Because that's, like, pretty common knowledge, right? If the Big Bang Theory was the start of, like, basically everything, yes, you are from stars. You are from the universe. What? Like, like, what do you think? Your matter just came, just, just poofed into reality? No, you came from other shit. Uh, Mr. Nesquik for the five. Uh, sorry for the mobile delay, but I think it's the guy on the left. Uh, if you need an editor, a thumbnail editor, uh, I don't need one right now. Captain for the sub. Love for the three inch bits. I agree with you. Your brain is what makes you, you. Your beliefs and everything is just your brain. Something like white blood cells don't contribute to the beliefs. They just protect me from bacteria. Exactly. Cupid for the five. If you remove the brain and put it in a robot, how do you know 
How do you know consciousness is within your brain? I don't know that consciousness. Well, consciousness is within your brain. I, I think you're asking me if my soul is within my brain. Your consciousness is in your brain because that's how you make up the universe. That's how you make up the world. That's how you perceive things, right? Everything that you witness is from your brain's perception of things. That's what processes info. Even if it, you're touching something, yes, your hand is touching it, but your brain is processing what you're touching. Spotted for the three. The little voice in your head right now. I already read that. Um, bro, that is nuts, though. That is actually an insane fucking video. What if we're literally just... Cell, like, we're only in the present moment. And we're just cells. We're just accumulation of cells trying to trying to make up the world. Bro, that's fucking crazy. All right. Oh, now we got to move on to the scary videos. Fuck. Ugh. <sighs> ignore it. Short horror film. We have two of these. Netflix and chill and ignore it. Everybody lock in. We'll get more philosophical tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be nuts. Bro, if I watch, if I was watching that video tomorrow, I would've been fucking losing it. But he's playing on a Game Boy. Justin. I want you to listen to me very carefully. The woman is back. Hey, you remember the rules. You must ignore her as much as possible, all right? Just like last time. Don't look at her. Don't even think about her. Hey, look at me. I promise she's gonna leave, but only if you pretend she isn't there. All right? Nah! What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Bro, and this is the second time they've been through this. Let's join your mom and Emily downstairs. Oh, dude, the fucking look on his face, he skits in. The woman's back. The fuck she... Stay focused. The fuck she about to look like? I'd shit myself. I feel like it's impossible to not think about something if it's in... It's, like, inadvertently right in front of you. Like, it's just there. Yeah, she's right there. Don't look. Don't look. Bro, I already know this shit's about to be fire. Oh, she about to be at the table or some shit. Is that her? Is that her? Is that her? Oh, no, that's her sister. Oh. Where is she? Dude, the second I see her, I'm going to freak out. No way Go I'd be able to not fucking phone. think about that. It's just in the corner. Oh, it's at the table. It's at the table. They're clearly not ignoring it. <laughs> they're, they're clearly not ignoring it. They're clearly, they're clearly acting how they wouldn't, how they wouldn't know, normally act, right? Emily, how did your algebra test go today? I think I passed. I don't know. That's good, Em. That's good. But eventually you would get used to it, right? Like, okay. Say, say some weird demon lives in your house, right? The first few days, you're going to be like, actually the first month of ignoring it, you're going to be like, this shit sucks. I can't do this. Eventually, like chat, say you live with a demon for like four months, Eventually, you'll be able to just fucking not give a shit. You know what I mean? Your brain almost adapts to anything to the effect that you would you would eventually just not give a shit. You would eventually just walk by it and it would just be a part of your house. And the, the, it's walking the, the around. You just wouldn't care. You uh, would just ignore it. It's great. Huh. Like when a dog's barking at you. Or like, you know how a lot of motherfuckers don't change their smoke alarms? And eventually your brain just just bleeps it out and you don't even notice it. Like that. That's what it would be. XT for the sub. Plata for the sub. Liam for the sub. Uh, and spotted for the three. There's billions of memories stored in all of yourselves, so not just your brain. There's a, It's not memories in the sense of like memories of things uh, you've experienced. It's memories of things that need to be need to keep you alive. Like what do you mean by that? Mr. Nesquik for the 500 bits. 
Ex Damo for the sub. Thank you. Dad, I don't understand what's going on. Quiet, Justin. Pass me the salt. Why is she back? I said quiet! Bro, he ain't explain it. How did how'd they get rid of it last time? They just ignored it? How did they know to ignore it? Bro, it's about to be look it's gonna look grimy as hell. Oh, he's shaking. Is that the dad? Bro, just move. Or kill it. This is the only way. Just ignore. Bro, I'm just moving. <laughs> like, what? Oh, no. What is it? Bro, don't look in the spoon, dumbass. Don't look in the spoon. <laughs> Bro, you're looking at it, idiot. If it looks in my eyes, how do you ignore it if it starts staring at you? But he's gripping on my shoulder and shit. Nah, I'm hitting that bitch with a hammer. Nope. 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 What does it look like? Bro, I, I would have to look at it. I would be so curious. I would be so curious. I'd be like, bitch, why are you, why, why are you fucking grabbing my shoulder? Stop saying that shit's XQC. Go grab the fucking phone! Just let it I'll get it. What happens if they don't ignore it? Like, how do they know? How do they know what happens if they don't ignore it? You know, like, this video's already almost over. How the fuck do they know? It probably eats them if they, if they, oh yeah, they might have had a family member die. They just immediately die if they look at it. No way. Yo, what does it look like though? Dad's about to die. They're looking right at it. Gail? Leave my family alone. Gail, come back to the table. Get out! Oh, no! I'm moving like like buddy buddy's like but he's like a blue collar white guy like but bro you got a nice ass house sell this bitch sell this bitch get that the fuck out of here bro buy another house fuck is it the house or is it haunting the family bro I'm just grabbing a 12 gauge I'm blowing that thing's fucking head off oh yeah it's over Damn it, choking that bitch out. Justin, get back to the table! He's about to open the door back up. Oh, shit! I want to see its head. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. So they're not allowed to look at it? Bro, just leave the house! <laughs> GGWP. 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 That was a good one. Fiddle for the fucking 600 biddies. Are you going to play the new Breakout 13 DLC? No. Uh, spotted for the three. Evolution has stored memories and traits learned from our ancestors and ourselves, not just in the brain. 
Yeah, traits and just general things that make up your physicality, but not your brain, not your consciousness. You know what I mean? Tomato for the sub. Like, I know what you're trying to say in, like, physical makeup and, like, survival instincts and stuff like that. But, like, at the end of the day, like, most of that's in your brain. That's basically all you need. All right, Netflix and chill short horror film. It's finally out. But he got a big ass glass of milk. How many damn cookies is that? Hello. Yo, I miss the days where like anybody remember when you were like ten and you could just mac that whole plate and it wouldn't affect you, bro. Like, I'm only 20. I mean, I'm going to turn 21 in fucking six hours. But, like, dude, literally now, even though I'm young, I could not eat all. I could not eat that whole thing. If I ate that whole thing, I would be in pain. Like, my heart would hurt. Like, dude, when I was 10, though, I could mac that whole plate, no problem. It would not affect me in any way because I was just growing. So any amount of food that, that went into your body, oh, it doesn't matter. Space and Naver for the sub. Kratos with 300 bets. Kids dead ass. Joe Kids that ass you play on Roblox on my school. What? Oh my god, it's not even going to TTS it. I'm going to read this word for word. Joe Kids that ass you play Roblox on my school. Also, did you miss my bits from 20 minutes ago? For the love of god, reword what the fuck you just said cuz I can't even make out what you're trying to say. Uh, I will read your other bits. If I miss them, I don't know if I miss them. Um, I don't see any other bits. You put happy early birthday. You missed sweaty pandas bits, but that wasn't 20 minutes ago. I don't see any other bits. Oh, you see the video where Brett Rivera was rude to Tyler Oliveira. No, I've not seen that. All right. Never for the sub. Kratos, I have no idea what the fuck you were trying to say, though. That made no damn sense. All right. Hey, the new season's out. I know. What do you think I'm watching? What show you think they're watching? Now. Are you going to binge it all tonight? Full house, but it's fuller house. The new full house. Some shitty ass show. The new full house. The new season's out, boo. You ready to watch? Uh, duh. What are you eating? Wait, don't tell me. Cookies? No. Yeah, I'm NPC, on a diet. NPC conversation. NPC conversation. Who the fuck would ever ask that dumbass question? Let me guess what you're eating. Cookies? Ain't nobody give a shit what you're eating. Remember? What are you eating then? Um, sliced veggies. If you say so. Well, I'm gonna get back to this shit. What? Yo, I wouldn't. I would be number one confused. Number two, pressed. Right? I have a whole. I have a whole ass plate of cookies. I say I'm eating vegetables, and then I look down and I got a. I got a fucking rack of celery sticks and carrots. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad at that point. Spotted for the three. Agree to disagree. It's hard to argue my point over donations. Love the stream. Well, you can type it in chat, but I don't know if I would uh, definitively see it. But I know what you mean. Show. Sure. Talk later. Yeah, okay. Bye. I'm saying I got a bunch of money. Yeah, I'm about to just start saying, yeah, I'm rich as shit. I got a Lamborghini. Didn't I just have... <laughs> it really has been a long day. You're not going to question that? I know I'm not going to be like, yeah, maybe I'm just a bit tired. Must must have had a long day on this one. That's not, like, yeah, if I was eating, like, potatoes and I haven't slept in fucking 18 hours, I look down, I'm eating carrots. All right, maybe that's in the same realm-ish. You were eating cookies, now you have fucking carrots and celery. I'm going to be bugging. Babe, hey, can I come over? Not tonight. Please, I miss you. I miss you too. 
I just want to be alone tonight. Are you mad at me? No. She's going to lie and say something and it's going to swap her. Oh my god, she's going to get... Oh my god, no way she just lied about her grandma dying. Or grandpa dying. No fucking shot. No fucking shot. Oh, her grandpa's going to die. Oh, her grandpa's literally just going to fucking die. Why would you even say that, though? You know what I mean? Like, would you guys ever... If I'm making a lie, I'm going to be like, bro, I got homework. I'm not going to say, oh, my grandpa just passed. That is fucked. <laughs> Bro, she really about to get a call right now that her grandpa just died. Oh. Seriously? Seriously, I'm just trying to watch the next episode of Fuller House. Crucible said if I don't want to hang out, I just pull out the diabetes card. Do you really? Sorry, I don't really feel like it today. Master for the sub. Everyone just leave me alone. Hello? Bro, somebody said pre-watched. It's following the course of the video, right? She's talking to her friend. I'm eating... I'm eating vegetables. Boom. Vegetables. She, she said a lie. The lie became true. My grandpa died. A lie. Lie became true. Pre-watched. Maybe you could just, you know, fucking think. And then you would, like, no. Like what? Hello? Erica, it's mom. Mom, you don't have to say it's you every time. Your number's saved in my phone. We've been over this. Erica, I have some really bad news. It's your grandpa. He passed away. What? I'm so sorry, sweetie. It just happened. What Can monotone you... ass voice is that? I feel like I, I feel like the mother would be a little bit more distraught. Sweetie, I have some terrible news. Your grandpa just passed away. No, you'd be a bit more pressed. Over. Right now? Yes. Your brother's already on his way. I can't right now. Did you not hear me? Your grandpa's dead. Mom, I... Did you not hear me? Your grandfather is dead. My God, whoever the fuck is the woman voice acting this shit needs to get fired real fast. No, but I barely knew him, and it's late. Erica, you better come right now. Mom. Mom, I'm, really... I'm just trying to watch my show. really sick. And I've been coughing. <coughs> and I have the chills. Let me get some rest. And if I'm feeling better, I'll head over first thing in the morning. Okay, rest. Yo, L, L, L fucking daughter, though, that she's really more intrigued in wanting to watch this show than going to see her dead fucking grandfather. L fucking woman. L fucking daughter, dude. L fucking person. Like, bro, are you kidding me? She also hasn't connected the dots yet. Damn, I feel like right. Yo, chat. Those two things happen back to back. Are you are you immediately recognizing the trend? Yes. She still doesn't get it. She's still sitting there confused as fuck. Like, bro, I had cookies. I said I had vegetables. Now I have vegetables. Said your grandfather was dead. Your grandfather's dead. Bitch, I am never, I'm not even talking for the rest of my life. I'm literally just gonna be like, okay, well, we're done. Wheeling for the sub, Judy, for the 300 bits. You're my favorite streamer, so I decided to donate. Hello, uh, Finn Elliot. Say hi to Finn Elliot. Hello, Finn Elliot. Thank you for the 300 bits, Judy. Master for the sub. I don't want you getting everyone sick. Feel better. Okay, Mom. Good night. Second, she hangs up. She's Good gonna night. get sick as hell. <sighs> <laughs> Hello. Are you happy with your current internet service? 
Sorry, I, I actually can't talk right now. I have a really bad headache. <laughs> it's a telemarketer. Just hang up. Why did you need to give an excuse? What are you, what are you fucking stupid? Sorry, I have a headache. If you were gonna use a, an excuse to say you were sick, just hang up. Are you happy with your internet service? Fuck you. Bye. Like what? <clears throat> Bro, you gotta be fucking kidding me. She is dumb as shit. She better get a call again and she's gonna lie again. Oh my god. How has she not fucking pictured the trend yet? Hello? Did you say you were happy with your current internet Leave service? Leave me alone. You're giving me a brain aneurysm. GG's, GGWP, and it's over because you just said you had a brain aneurysm and now you're actually just going to fucking die. Uh, Harvey for the sub. <sighs> Yo, she's dumb as shit. That was a good video, though. But that was stupid as fuck. Like, how would she not connect the dots? Like, at all. All right, hold up. I'll cue this one for another day. All right, that was a W stream. We're going to call it there, though, because it was a four-hour fucking stream. All right. W stream. We're going to call it there, though, because it was... W fucking stream chat. Um, I had fun streaming. Pumpkin for the 300 bit. He says, you're a W streamer. I appreciate that. Uh, I will be live tomorrow. 4.30 EST. It'll be my birthday stream. Uh, going to have a couple brewskis. Hit the dab card a bit. Probably going to watch a, a bunch of videos we're going to be reacting to. Uh, then we'll probably play some video games. Uh, Tuesday, I will not be live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing Minecraft because I'm moving that from Monday uh, for my birthday stream. Thursday, we're going to be doing FMB games. Uh, Friday reacts. Saturday, probably going to be doing an earlier stream playing Spy Party with Zussi. Uh, and then next Sunday, I don't really know. Exclamation point, Discord.